ballroom they're talking about tomorrow when they're taking Johnny away. Said he wasn't no good, never done the things that he should. That's all the judge had to say. He went in the army when he was 18. Crazy young Irish and me. Took a kid who was half gone all the way to be wrong with bloodlust and them 16s. His father, he thanks us for coming. <coughs> all right, we're back. Um, fucking what a weekend. Holy oh, yeah. shit. Uh, Day Patty's Day weekend. It was our weekend. It was our weekend. Yeah. You're right. As Keith said, a uh, good friend Keith from the IA, he said, this is our weekend. That's what he said on Friday. And I'm like, fuck, yeah, you shouldn't have told me that because now I just feel like I got a lease on life. For the boys. We got uh, Bob C. back in the fucking house. The oh, prince yeah. of the projects is oh, yeah. back. Go. Um, all right. Big fucking, I got to tell the story before we get to anything else. Thursday, playing at Lily P's. Fitzy came with the fam. Yep. Julie Wilcox was there. Um, Wilcox Turner. Yeah, Julie yeah. Wilcox Turner, Kevin Turner's wife, Good wife kid. of. Good great kid. kid. Good kid. Project kid. Oh, yeah. yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was, uh, yeah, we had a fucking great time. And then I'm like, fuck this. I'm going straight to see Jinty play at Selfie. Didn't tell anybody. Just jumped in a fucking Uber. And uh, went in there. First of all, I got a fucking Jinty McGrath t-shirt over there. It's sick. He is fucking unbelievable. Obviously, we know that. Met his girlfriend, sweetheart. She owns the Dorchester Tavern. Uh, and I'm standing there and I'm just fucking standing there talking to the sound guy a little bit, pretending like I know what I'm talking about when it comes to the fucking soundboard, which I do not. Uh, and this kid walks up to me and he's like, what's up? He's like, we've met before. And I'm like, Yikes. I don't remember. And he's like, I'm Dr. Strange. Get the Come fuck on. out of here. Hand to God. Again. Come on. Again. So. I'm like, fucking might as well just fucking might as well just fucking been like Larry Bird was standing there. You know what I mean? We hung out all night. We crushed beers together. Uh, now, for the people out there wondering if he's trying to wear my skin and that he like followed yeah. me there, I didn't tell anybody I was going. He just saw that Jin- he'd listen. Now, we have not lost him as a listener. I'm not going to reveal his identity. Um, he's a good dude. This, we, makes every, we, this makes everything better. Yeah. We party. He's we been fucking, waiting in the shadows the whole yeah, time. He's you know laying I mean? low with voicemails. He's picking laying low with voicemails, his picking his spots. Yeah. Uh, but I said, I thought we lost you. He's like, you'll never lose me. And I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. I fucking love it. One of the best corkers. Um I love ever. it if it's true. Because you're the only person that's ever met this fucking shit. Right? Is, is, is it for right? 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 me? Imagine if it was me leaving the voicemails. Yeah. Yeah. Brett has got one of those fucking voice changes. I've created this whole fucking thing. We talked about this. And I go, do we know it's really him? We don't know. Imagine it was just a crazy Brandon, thing. I guess he's, he's, just, he's just psycho. Brandon's yeah. just pulling the strings like fucking a master puppeteer. Uh, I'll tell you this. He's very real. There's no snuffle off against Imagine if also it was just like, I've, I'm, I've created this whole thing in my head and I believe it. Like, it's like, um, but anyways, Dr. Strange is very much alive. He is very well. He, we did green tea shots together because he was like, fine, once again, he's like, want to do a shot? And I'm like, fuck. I said I was going to do shots ever again. <laughs> did shots all weekend. Um, we did shots together. I'm not gonna confirm nor deny if I if I let him come back to the garage. We did a couple videos in the garage. I took no photo evidence, so there's no like you could take my phone right now and hijack it. And I'm like, nope, you couldn't get it. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna say that I have a direct line to him now. I know how to get a hold of him, uh, but he's on his own schedule. I'm like, you leave. It takes so much restraint. I said to not leave a message when I'm like calling you out for a message. And he's like. I got to be ready for it. I got to, I got to have something cooked up and I'm like, I respect it. So waiting in the, uh, wings. Waiting in the wings. Yeah. yeah. And he's just a fucking straight corker. I found out how he found out with the show, which is not like, uh, anything too crazy, uh, mutual kind of connection type of thing. So that's it. Doc strange is live. And well, I just want to put everybody's mind at ease. A lot of people have been asking, uh, Paul Gentile was very concerned for a while that we lost him. Um, but he is I alive. Was, we all, we all, it was the first thing yeah. I said when I came in here. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what's up with Dr. Strange? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I thought you'd already knew. I did it. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I told God. these guys the story. Um, and I was telling him this is uh, first off. That's pretty dope that he didn't even know about it. I didn't. You know I'm saying that's we're, we're all, we're all yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. You know Dude. what I mean? We're all real mm-hmm. about it. Hand to God. I was going to just say like, I saw him and he said like, I was talking strange and walked off again. Yes. Yeah, because, like, me leaves more mystery, but, like, yeah, I met him hanging out with Drake Bills. He's a regular fucking guy. That's what he is. So, uh, he's awesome. He's absolutely awesome. Um, couple things, too. Fitzy was Connor's birthday. 
Yep, St. Patty's Day and yeah, Connor's maybe. birthday. We had people over. We used the pulling the cork cornhole boards. Yep. We had two cornhole games going at the same time, my boards and PTC boards. Nice. Uh, did Irish car bombs, drank well into the night, woke up at like 9.30 this morning, which is fucking wicked late for me. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's wild. Uh, yeah, it was a blast, though. Tons of kids running around my house. Oh, Bob, story for you. Uh-huh. My fucking headset. Yep. I find it this morning. Yep. The earmuffs are ripped off of it. And there's like, it looked like some little kid like drooled Definitely. all over it. Dude. Somebody used it, was, it as a teeth and it was fucking gross. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, these are ruined. So I get a uh, paper towel. I start wiping it down, like get baby wipes and yeah. I'm wiping it and cleaning it. I get the earmuffs to go back on. Yeah. Works perfectly. Get out of here. I swear to God, dude, everything I, works fine. Really? Really? Mine ripped off one time. I could never get it back on. Me neither. So mine yeah. have like a, a little, it's like a elastic band that snaps into place. Yeah. I got, got it to go back together. Yeah, works. Um, Those Dollar Tree headsets are getting better. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, yeah. also, I um, I went out and played that show yesterday. Uh, they were in a great event, uh, but Marblehead. It's like a kind of firefighters club, veteran firefighters club, Irish thing. Chick was so cool that ran it. She was like, I'm like, oh, she's like, I, I'm from Jersey, but like I moved up here. I lived in Zeldy for a while. She's like, and like came up here. I'm like, there's nothing on St. Patty's Day, so I just started running this thing. I'm like, that's sick. Uh, a couple of people came. Um, Kevin Gagne and Leslie was there. Let's so go. Leslie bought me a fucking shot that almost put me like into throw up zone like immediately. Shots again, huh? Is Anyways, that the, is that the picture of like what you painted nails? <laughs> that picture is. There's an unbelievable it's optical so weird illusion. How that works. I like, know who it is. I know. You know who it is. Yeah, yeah. But like, if you ever see this picture, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I'll post it on the page. It's, <laughs> it's unbelievable. I, it looks like I have a full set of painted nails. Like <laughs> she's what? holding. She's you behind got me. Wild she, that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just the Bobby, angles. Bobby, see, like it's just uh, it it's looks her like hand, hand. But it, it's it's right in front of Brendan's fucking face. So yeah, really. Yeah. yeah, It's unbelievable. See it. uh, so, anyways, they ran a great event, um, and. I didn't eat anything because I'm always petrified that I'm, like, going to have a stomach issue or something. And, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. so I was, like, had no food. I think I had, like, three beers there. Got in the truck, went home. My buddy had made boiled dinner on the street. I went in there, and I fucking was like, give me this fucking thing. Yeah. Oh, also, I'm, now, I could never, we never, as grown-ups, we never get, I don't ever get surprised anymore. Mm. Like, gifts. Like, Maggie's like, what do you want for Christmas? I tell her she gets it for me. Sure. So, mail comes the other day. Nothing's ever for me in the mail, ever. Clothing package. I'm like, this isn't for me. My buddy O'Malley over in Ireland sent me two uh, Irish hurling jerseys, and oh. one of them is like the limited edition with fire. Shane McGowan on it, so and then it has wow. Shane on so the back. Fire. Yeah. This shirt, like, I'll die in this fucking shirt, dude. And I'll tell it, you right now, it's going to keep yesterday? me in shape because it just fits. So, yeah. Did you wear it yesterday? Yeah, oh, yeah, I wore it. Some guy came up, he's like, "That's the f- where do you get that shirt? I'm like, Ireland. That's yeah, where you get it. Shirt. You get it in fucking yeah. Ireland, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of getting uh, apparel, clothing, gifts in the mail, this little bad boy came in. Oh, because you won? Because I won the, uh, the, the draft. Villain, the oh, villain I got to talk, talk about that. That's <laughs> fucking crazy. So for everyone on YouTube, this is called the Irish Rose from Boston Scally Company. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, what happens is. when you win drafts, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get the metrics on this? Who's up? That's the real question. It's got to be fits. Fits. By, yeah. by a landslide? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I only got like one, thing. one in like a... You, when you came out with Bill the Butcher, I said, this is it. <laughs> yeah. I said, this motherfucker Bill, Butch- got- Bill the Butcher is number one all day long. I said, wow, this kid killed it, right? Then when you came out with that last pick of four brothers, the guy has four lines the entire movie. How can I hate <laughs> that guy? You know what I'm saying? I was like, dude. Pick the sweets. All you <laughs> pick the sweets. <laughs> but no. What was the consensus on Facebook about fucking? Because I'm not on there, so I can't see. People were hating on my shock pick. Yeah, but I shit on you with the shock. People didn't like Jaws, right? (laughs) Yeah, right. But I want. I had probably like 14 or 15 votes. So I got. I got to keep going. I got to keep going with like. I think the closest person was like four or five votes. Really? Like everyone was scattered around four or five, six votes. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sweeney got. Sweeney. Sweeney did great. Yeah, he did great. And I was just ten ahead of everyone. Yeah. Uh, hey, and you hey, have the fucking hat. He goes, yeah, no big deal. Yeah, no, no big deal. deal. No big deal. And you got the hat to prove it. Yeah. Um, it's a great okay. fucking scallop. Other thing. It is. It's yeah, a it nice is. one. Other thing that I think is pr- pretty. This shows how much of a fucking idiot I am. I. <laughs> I have a, uh, friends I met down in Nashville a couple, uh, couple years ago. I talked with them, Ashley and um, Derek. So she's like a wicked big into like they go to Nashville all the time. She's wicked big into country music. She posted like I'm gonna get my commemorative 
brick at Eric Church's for being like a three, like a so long member of the church choir is what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, whatever, you get your name on a brick. Five, probably seven years ago, me and Maggie wanted to go to an Eric Church concert because a bunch of people were going to it, so she, like, she could give two shits. She thought we were going to see Derek Bentley when we were there. She goes, you guys ready for Dix Bentley? People are like, do you even know a concert you're at, lady? <laughs> so I'm like, I forgot about the whole thing. I opened the fucking mail the other day, right? What Apparently, I never canceled my membership to get the tickets. You getting a brick? I got a brick. Let's go, baby. Yes. <laughs> I know. Really? So we're going to have to go to Nashville and find my brick yeah. at some point. And Eric Church is fucking by. Like, dude, look at this. Ceremonial brick deed. Witness it. Chiefs on Broadway. Let's fucking go. All right? This is fucking, I'm just such a big time Eric Church guy. I don't think I'm <laughs> listening to the guy, like, other than, like, sitting here on a radio. Like, and I'm, a, I'm in his fan club. Which First off, he's nasty. Yeah. I'm, he's pretty no, no, good. I like Eric Church. Yeah. I'm not anti Eric Church. Eric I do Church like him. nasty. I like Eric Church. But, like, no, I'd have to be in his fan I've, club. I've, you know never, I mean? I've never seen his eyes because all he does is just smoke weed and so just put question, sunglasses How much on. money are we talking here that you've donated to this guy? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Are we talking in the tens of thousands? No, no. I want to say it's 25 bucks a year. I, uh, I, do, the I do know somebody that donated $1,000 to Donald Trump. No. 500 at a time. I mean, he don't need it. No, no. <laughs> yes. Well, he needs it, he needs it now. He needs it now. I need it now. He needs it now. Speaking of that, a couple things just as we go forward. Golf tournament. I'm doing yeah, cleanup on that this week. Bob C. just came in here and goes, let me pay you right now. Okay? My buddy Pete Kelly was in here last night. My buddy who works, uh, he's one of my buddies who's like a fucking badass dude. He's like, he paid the day of. You're out there right now and you're like, I haven't paid yet. I'm talking to you. Okay? <laughs> that's who I'm talking to. Uh, and actually, what he's talking about is everybody that's related to Danny Gillis. It's not until fucking, day of. Just, just pay it. <laughs> no, no. None of my guys are paid either. I got to get on their ass too. So, um... I'm on that. So, anyways, that's what we're gonna be doing this week. Sean B just secured the. We had to do like an insurance thing. Classic. My father was like, when you were first talking about doing it, my father works at Beverly. He's like, I was kind of like, hey, maybe do it at Beverly. And then I thought, like, with the guys you're coming, I don't want this stink on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, like I don't want it. Great you know move I mean? on his part. Uh, which it's smart. You know, just enjoy the show. It'll be it'll be great. Um, <clears throat> okay. So also we got sweatshirts coming. They're pretty much ordered. Talk oh. to Joe. Everything's done. Um, Holy baloney! Yeah. How about the response? It's huge. People they're love up, it. They're probably already sold out. People love yeah, it. They have it's to close. be this sick. Yeah. yeah. They're sick. 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 Yeah, uh, Josh, Josh, the iron worker's daughter, wears hers to hockey every day. And Pat Kane, who's one of your close friends, oh, is yeah. the coach. And when she dumped in a goal the other day, they screamed corker at the top of his lungs. I'm like, <laughs> let's fucking did. go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Let's fucking go. Um, also, we released the Patreon uh, episode the yeah. other day. Um, somebody else joined the Patreon, like, in the last I'll, I'll find it in a minute. Um but, uh, yeah, Original Ginger, great guest. Yeah. He went to Patty Barry's right afterwards. Text me. I gave him, like, a stack of stickers. Dude, he got, like, there, Dude, I gave he out got 75. there in 13 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. He gave out 75 stickers at Patty Barry's. was just pumping the pot. I'm like, that's a, a fucking. a boy. That's a guy in the trenches mm -hmm. right there. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, golf tournament, that's taken care of. Um, what else? Uh, all right. We're going to talk about family, right? We're going to talk about fucking family, right? What annoys you about it? Everything. What's great about it? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> he says. <laughs> Everything. Uh, so, Bob, you stop. You got. You, you must have some thoughts on this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got. <laughs> it's called that. Uh, it was funny because when we were talking about it, I'm like, all right, what can we talk about on the podcast or whatever? And then I'm like, well, I can always talk about how fucking batshit crazy my wife is, right? <laughs> and let me preface it that by uh, Diana, I love you. I don't mean anything by this. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> so remember after the comedy show? Sure. So after no. the comedy show, <laughs> yeah, I know. After the comedy show, I got fucking sick as a dog, right? I was straight delusional, was out for 72 hours, going in and out of consciousness. She's sick, dude. Why? Super. I have no fucking idea. I just came home. I was like, damn, I think I got the sniffles. Next fucking day, I woke up at like, I got a fever, this, that, anything. I went back. I went to bed, woke up. It's like 12 in the afternoon. I'm like, Jesus Christ, passed back out, woke up at like two in the morning. And I did that for 72 hours straight. So I'm in the bedroom fighting the fucking Lord's fight, right? <laughs> when my wife's like, see you later. You he's know like Paul Giamatti and Sam Adams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sam Adams, when he's just like fucking in that bed in that dress. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm dying, right? Suffering from the consumption. I was, dude. It was like scarlet fever or something, right? Overtook me. So my wife comes in. She's like, oh, Jesus Christ, right? 
She leaves. She comes back back in with a mask and fucking Lysol spray and creates a Lysol path all the way to me to put shit down, right? 72 hours goes by, right? Now, and I'm not talking about like, oh, I'm a little sick. I'm talking about like snotty nose, stinky farts, just sick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 72 Sweats. hours. Yeah, dying. Yeah. Gross. So, gro- gross. She didn't even sleep in the same room as me, right? Yeah. She was like, see you later. You're yeah. disgusting. I'm out of here, right? My wife's so solid, ready? So I fucking leave the room. 72 hours, fever breaks, this, that, and I'm like, all right, nice. So I walk in. It's like three, it's, I want to say it was like five in the morning, right? And my wife wakes up wicked early like me, right? So I'm at the fucking <laughs> sink, right? And I'm trying to make a cup of coffee because I hadn't had coffee in like 72 hours. So she comes out and she's got all the dirty blankets, right? She's walking over the thing and I'm like, uh, I'm just rambling nonsense. And she goes, hey, drop your underwear. I'm going to need them too. <laughs> I go... What the fuck are you talking about? Now, my wife's a ball breaker to the fullest, right? Yeah, so yeah. when she says it, I'm like, yeah, all right, right? She's like, no, seriously, the ones that got fucking shit stains on them. Why don't you drop those, right? <laughs> I went, what? So I drop them. And it was almost like, it wasn't like need for concern fucking shit stains. It was like a fucking bird shot. You get what I'm saying? Dude, so she literally fucking looks down. I'm like, oh, I now I am very rarely rendered speechless, yes. right? So I looked down and I just went... Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Threw the underwear and went right in the shower, right? So, like, so we're, we're in the last podcast when we're talking about how, like, yeah, I'm sitting on the corner of bed looking like a fucking orangutan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah and she still humps me. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, like, that's, you know what I mean? So, shout out to Diana. <laughs> she still loves you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's funny when it's, like, uh, you know, because it's weird because, like, I was thinking about this the other day. I was actually going to say in the last show, but then you brought this up, and I'm like, oh, I'll save it for this. It's like when you're dating, like, and you're coming up through, like, your life, you're just like, you're like, uh, you know, you just have a cup of coffee type of thing. It's really not like, whatever. It, it may be serious, but, like, when you get into a fucking, when you get married, it's a business relationship. You're in a business oh, yeah. relationship. No. So, like, all the niceties go out the window. 100%. Like, that's why when a guy's like, I don't know, be, like, we'll say, like, oh, like, uh, you meet a guy who's like, you know, whatever. He's usually a 10 cent head idiot. He's like, my wife doesn't shit or she does like, mm-hmm. she, like, dude, everybody goes to the bathroom and uses it, right? Mm-hmm. That, like, when you get married, like, I live in a small house with five people in it. Yeah. Like, there's no secrets in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Like, literally. Like, there's nothing going on in there that, like, nobody doesn't know about. Like, so it's, it's funny because once you get into a real relationship, it's like, it's like I was talking to somebody the other day. I'm like, you know, when you're younger, you're like, ah. Oh, Sex, you know what I mean? Like, you're so consumed by sex, right? And as you get older, obviously, everybody still wants to get laid. But, like, it's like, dude, getting laid is, like, five minutes, like, once in a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then the rest of the it's day has... Time, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a great time, by the way. It's an unbelievable <laughs> time, by the way. If it, Highly recommend I don't know, it, yeah. what, I don't know what, if that's where you're going with, but it's still a great time. Well, it's time. one of the best five minutes. It my whole life. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I continue to seek it up. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that said, like... The other the other day that goes by, you know what I mean? When you're like fighting about like the groceries or whatever's going on, like that's like that's like most of, and that's why it's like I think it's uh, important like with family like the way I am. I'm always like I just want to I don't want problems to linger. Like mm. I want to bury this fucking thing now. Like I have I buddies that are like we've been fighting for like a week, and I'm no. like, dude, I just say like, listen, I don't want to do this anymore. You want to mm. fucking do this? Like be fucking stressed about it. It's dumb. You know what I mean? Like we're gonna get over it. So if we're gonna get over it. Might as well just squash it now. You know what I mean? Yeah, neither one of us are going anywhere. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Let's just wrap this thing up. You yeah. know what I mean? Yes. I it's, sometimes it's tough, though. But you got to eat some shit every once in a while. Yeah, you know I know, I mean? but it's... you got to make a stand at some point. Too. Uh, I, I, no, I, I mean, everybody does. But I'm saying, yeah. like, in the course of the years that you're together, I think the more you go along, the more you are less likely to be like, all right, I'm going to make a big fucking stink about this thing because, you know what I mean? Like, listen, I'm a very difficult guy to live with, and I think people don't even understand that. Like, I'm moody. Mm-hmm. I'm a fucking prick, and like I get annoyed. I don't say something We're all so it just festers. Irishman, exactly. It's a hundred percent. You know, yeah. Yeah. Yep. so yeah. it's like you I don't want nothing. to. You don't yeah. want to yeah. fucking <laughs> say, yeah. "I was wrong." Can we move past this? I've done it. I've done it too, but it's not. It's not, fun. It's not my forte. It's not fun to yeah, do. Yeah, it's not my yeah. forte. I mean, I'm just uh, like some people like to fight. I don't like to fight. You especially, know what I mean? Especially the day after Patty's Day. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm probably gonna lose this battle. Specifically, <laughs> specifically today. You know what yeah. I mean? Specifically, uh, if you don't remember what you did, <laughs> which brings me to my point about family. Go ahead. I tend to drink to excess from time to time. <laughs> no, I don't know if you, guys, you? Have, you guys no. have seen me. Or no, seen is. Seen me in action, is. right? So. My least favorite pastime is waking up in the morning or coming to 
not even waking up because I fucking passed out. I'm coming to in the morning, and now I'm like Sherlock Holmes because now I got to figure out what What's happened. Happening? What happened from the time when I blacked out to the time when I passed out? <laughs> <laughs> Building a timeline. <laughs> so immediately I'm like in shame lying there. Look at my phone. Did I text anyone? Did I text anyone to go fuck themselves? <laughs> Did I post on Facebook? <laughs> Now you're looking through your pictures. Yeah, looking through pictures. Did I yeah. do I did I do a fucking chug video at 11, <laughs> 11 30 in the yeah. uh, in uh, PM, you know? And like once that's cleared, I go through all the avenues on my phone. Then I gotta go wake up my wife and be like, hey, how you doing? And she's like, Good, why? And I'm like, cause I don't remember like 45 minutes of my life. <laughs> Dude, you know maybe, maybe two I hours. I, so no. There's a chance I told this on here before, but I, it would be a while ago. I, I one time I was like, went out with Josh and uh, some other guys. And like, this is like when the kids were little. So like, if we went out, like one of us is only going out. So it was like, you know, now I go out now I get pretty much ex- exclu- exclusively um, oh, when I'm not dating other women, but. Uh, oh, oh, guys. Uh, but no, no, I'm uh, like, anyways, we're always together. So at this point, like, I went out, she went to bed early, and I, like, wake up on the couch, and I'm like, black the fuck out. Like, I'm like, uh, like, I like I was blacked out. Like, I don't re- remember anything, but I'm, I'm like, I knew enough to sleep on the couch and not piss her off by sleeping in the bed. So she comes down, and I'm like, doing that, like, where am I at in this situation thing? And she's just like, oh, how was last night? No problems, right? I'm like, all right, yeah. Gonna Never be been time. there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my mic just went up for a minute. Uh, I was like, good time. And I was great. You know what I mean? And as I get up, I realize, like, I got pants on, but I don't have underwear on. Like, I got nothing <laughs> underneath the pants. And I'm like, so I'm like, what, what did I do with these fucking underwear? Like, to shit myself? Like, why do I not have underwear on? Use them as toilet paper? What no, happened? Dude, I'm walking down the steps to my basement, which wasn't finished at the time, but there was a shit down there. So if I got home and I was drinking, I would piss down the bathroom down there. And in the middle of the stairs of my fucking boxes. And I'm like, what? How, How did, did this happen? happen? You know what I mean? <laughs> I would have had to take all my pants off in the middle of the stairs, yeah. which is not on. a normal area to get disrobed, no. take my underwear off, and then leave it there. You and know what I mean? And then back put your on. pants back on <laughs> yeah. and pass out. And then put my pants back that's on and pass psycho out. Shit. Like, yeah. That's like Wild. when you, like, you <laughs> forgot what you just did. I'd rather wake up naked. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, dude. Like, I was like. Imagine jeans on your prick. Dude, well, no, luckily I think it was, it was sweatpants. By the way, oh, we went out to uh, the Irish American on Friday, the three of us. Yes. Hung out. Sean O'Brien was there. Yes. Go took team. a great kid. Um, me and somebody's like, oh, gray sweatpants crew, because me and him were wearing gray sweatpants. I'm like, huge cocks. Obviously. Yeah. Like, you want to show off what you got. You know what I mean? Outline. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fucking Pipe City over here, right? Yeah. I, I can't. I, I don't relate. <laughs> no. Well, hey, none of us can. <laughs> it's a long <laughs> con. None of us yeah, can. It's a long con. Just it's a long con. Come, I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> I'm, I don't see anything. They're, they're, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> oh, like, it's just very comfortable. If I Danny can looks like he hits from the ladies' tees, <laughs> <laughs> dude, exactly. dude. I'll fucking kill you right now. That was, <laughs> that was an unbelievable line. It was a dick. No, it was a dick from my, him too. Dude, so it was my. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but what's it called? I don't know the post that let's you put talk, on. There. Let's talk about video games for a second. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I give a fuck. What's it called? So what? me and Bob have been playing PGA Tour 2K23. Oh, you have been. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Why do I you think play I'd it? like to get in. Hey, let's viciously. Go. Are you playing. good? Yeah, I mean, so yeah, you play it from the some? fucking ladies, Steve. No, we have we have a lot of people, <laughs> and you play so, like you, you're free to join. Yeah, all right, I'll I buy this game right game. now. I'm yeah. getting in on this. <clears throat> so Xbox, do, right? Let me. Let, yeah, Xbox. 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 Doesn't Xbox. Doesn't matter, right? Right? Dude, no, yeah. these guys, dude, play. these guys like hot wide into the mainframe. They're like, you know, I have fiber going right into my fucking thing. You know what I mean? These like these guys like on a fucking G5 fucking line out to fucking telecom. They got a direct line into fuck. It's like a war games for them with Matthew Broderick. Like, dude, let me say this, right? So we've been playing this thing like insanely, <laughs> like like an addiction, right? So we're playing and we're getting into big competitions with each other, right? Sure. So we're like, dude, fucking 13 under, like just absolutely slaying, right? So him and my buddy Beard are going the whole time. They're like, bud, how are you driving it that far? And I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? I'm hitting it normal, this, that, and the other thing. So I play three, four games with him, right? And then fucking, who uncovered me? Me and Beard. Yeah, it was him and Beard. They go. Because we were like, dude, how, how far do you have left to the pin after you drive? Yeah. And we were all pretty kind of even. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was like, we went to a pod three, and we were like, 
Bob, how far are you to the pin right now from teeing off, right? Yeah. He's like 126 on a par three. We go, we're both 157. Where the fuck are you hitting from? How did he you immediately go, but you're hitting from the fucking ladies' tee. That's the only other thing, right? So whatever. There's not, and I didn't know I well, was. Well, calling you ladies' tee, Bob, from here on out. It's fine with me. So ready? This is the best part. So we're playing, right? And I'm beating them, right? And I go, how's Ob- it feel to get obviously. beat? I go, how's it feel to be getting beat by a they, them? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I've been getting from the ladies' tee the whole time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it was a good time. Um, another real quick interruption into our flow of conversation here. Upcoming shows. First of all, I got good news and bad news for people out there. Bunch of people texted, sent me messages and were like, you got to do a, like something, you and Jinty should do some music together. Mm-hmm. I am collaborating with some music. The bad news is it's not with Jinty. It's with Joey Boats. Oh, we're, working on wow. an, we're working on an original on. song. Uh, Get out of here. No. To be released. At, we've been sending voice notes back and forth. Oh, let's go. Uh, it is, I'm, just, I'm not going to give any hints. I'm just going to say that Expectations can't be high enough. Uh, it's fucking. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. So when's um, he? He's on two so shows no, from now. That's the problem. I got to talk to him because I said three thirty one, which is a Sunday, but that's Easter, and I host Easter. Yeah. Yep. So I can't have people. I can't Damn. do that. Yeah. So, and he yep. can't usually do Mondays, so yep. it might have to be the week after. Jeff Clow also is coming on, but he had to reschedule because he had something come up. By the way, Matt. I think it was Matt Ricci or somebody wrote. Oh, Matt it was Matt West. But I put the picture up of him and Matt Cloud. Like Jeff's out there. By the way, Rockin is pulling the cork. Fucking Dude, out people there. are yeah. rocking yeah, the yeah. fucking yeah, yeah. shit out every, of this yeah, shit. And, so, and somebody goes, somebody wrote, I think it was Matt West, is like, no couch is safe in California. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, mothers hide your couches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Mothers that's hide your couches. Awesome. Um, anyway, so, and we're going to have Sean O'Brien on. So next week, I told Sean to come on, but I already, I invited probably fucking, there's probably six guys that are going to show up here next Sunday and be like, oh, I'm on the show this week that I don't even know. But um, Well, that'll make us feel like fucking big time. We'll be like, sorry, you got bumped. Yeah, yeah. Well, Charles Bryan's we good. Like, he can, he can sub in any time. And he will be on next I'm, within the next I'm literally with him. Not to put my own shit in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday, and, Friday, Friday and Saturday, I'm with Sean O'Brien at different shows. For, for gigs, right? Yeah. And, so, and talk about them. Yeah. Yeah. No, sold out? It's sold out. Oh, you can't, you can't go there. Sorry, can't people. Can't go there. Mm-hmm. You're a fucking loser if you didn't get one. Yeah, How about sorry. that? Well, congrats. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. It's sick. By the way, it's nice. I was this saying is this nuts, thing. dude. I start, dude, we started this shit a little over a year ago. Yeah, we're now, responsible for your success. 100%. Gonna need a cut. And, and, <laughs> and now, say, here say. I am. I'm just out here doing gigs X, yeah. X, Y, and Z and... Whatever. It's fucking, it's wild, dude. Yep. It's wild. Beating guys off in the bathroom parking lot. You know what I mean? Like, all the good stuff. For, for <laughs> zero, you do what you gotta do. For but. zero dollars. What's a bathroom yeah. parking lot, by the way? <laughs> it just came out of my fucking mouth. Um, fucking truck stop. Dude, yeah, 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 yeah. Feed the guy off in a truck stop. You know what I mean? Um, or just beating off in a truck stop. It's fine. Um, but we're gonna have him on. But for the all, now, like I was saying, people were writing about the Genji thing for years. People have been writing in since we started the show being like, I want to have McCracken on. He has been on once. He was on quickly when we were at uh, yep. the thing. McCracken's crazy. I don't even, I don't think he listens to the show. Like, he did the dog cast with me, but people don't know. McCracken's a dog. He is crazy. He's a dog. He's so, he's too much he's like me. He's, he's one of us. He's one of us. He is a dog. And he's like, uh, his conspiracy theory ideas are the wildest shit you've ever heard. I'm in. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's like, and he'll Dude. smoke you in corner. Oh, he's he could be a pro. Nasty. Corner, but no, no he's problem. He's filthy. He, oh, nah, he, he could bro. be a pro. Like, hey. wow. but he's just at the time. Yeah. He could be a pro. Nasty. Um, so, anyways, I think he's coming on next week. As long as he says, as long as his wife doesn't have anything going on, he's coming on. So, uh, people have been saying this for years. They want McCracken to get on the mic. The holdovers, you know, the Dustin Fannins of the world, the fucking, you know, the John Baumans of the world. Uh, Bowman. Bowman. Um, I knew that was coming. Uh, right. Every time. Every, every time. time. Every time. Uh, it's like what I used to call um, fucking Al, Al, Del, Al Delano, Al Delano. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, In my head, I still call him Delano. Yeah. Mock fits. Cracks up every time you say Bauman and I say Bowman. He's like, <laughs> well, it's one of my favorite well, parts of the show. I mean, <laughs> congrats, Mark. Congrats, Mark. This, yeah. Yeah. This, a, this is a fair point. Scalloped potatoes or scalloped? Scalloped. Scalloped. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got to say this, too. I I, now, they're both, they're, I think they're both fine. We had a text thread <laughs> going. I, I, say, well, I don't know what I say. We had a text thread going scallops. the other day, right? Scalloped. Because I went to five guys on Don't Listen, Penuzo. 
I went to Five Guys on Saturday. <laughs> By the way, he texted me. He's like, St. Patty's is one day, not four. I'm like, not for me. It is a motherfucker. <laughs> for it's us, four, it's, yeah. and I'm going hard as in the paint right now, all right? <laughs> for me, it's for news on. For news on, relax. Yeah, the good news is, weekend. The good news is, Brian, I didn't need that much. It was, I didn't want to ruin that buzz. Uh, <laughs> so we're texting about Five Guys, right? Because kids want Five Guys. So I'm like, all right, I'll go get Five Guys. Um, and Danny writes, I like that they put where... <laughs> Writes a text that put me. I, I was in stitches. He goes, I like when they put that where it's from on the like where the potatoes they use it for the fries. He goes, like I give a fuck. I'll eat box scallop <laughs> potatoes at three in the morning. <laughs> oh, man. right, absolutely. You shit me. Uh, Betty Crock is box scallop potatoes. Give me, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Last thing. I am in my NCA pool. So ten bucks ahead. I think three entries max. Uh, if you want in, just send a message to the pull in the court page on whatever Instagram or just send it to me. I'll add you to it. Um, I think we got like a hundred people last year. It's a good pool. Um, <clears throat> I forget who won it last year, but anyways, we'll get that done. Um, yeah. So back to family, uh, dude, you know what it is too? It's like, it's funny because I think like the way family is, has changed. Like I bet like, like I am more friends with my kids than I am like a parent figure. And like, that's not always great because like they treat me like they can just fucking be like, yeah, I don't feel like doing that. I'm like, you can also go fuck yourself. Like that's the other thing you can do. I mean, I do lose it once in a while. Like I have lost it. Yeah. Like I caught like maybe a few months ago, I lost it on my oldest daughter and my and Tess, Maggie was like, dude, that was you. Were, you were out on the limb. Like, 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 obviously, like yeah. just like, I'm just like fucking like laying sh- in to, you have to, yeah. you're, you're every a parent, once in a while. Parent. It's like, you got to remind people that like, you run the shit. The lion can be awoken. You know what I mean? <laughs> you say, like, but we're cool, but like, but we're I'm not still, that cool. Yeah, we're not that You know cool. what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're not that cool. Um, and I'll tell you this right now boys are different. Like, my son's pretty easy. He still fucks around. You know what I mean? But like, he's not like, he's pretty fucking easy. But like, dude, girls, I mean, listen, and I, listen, I'll say this. I said this. I said, by the way, <laughs> no, I said, stink. Dude, I said this in the Irish American 250 the other day. Our female Corker listeners are our most fucking dedicated listeners. Like, mm. dude, they don't miss a fucking episode. Like, it's so I just want to say before I say what I'm gonna say, say what I you love you say, all. Bro. Yeah. All right. They Women living together yeah. stink. It is. I mean, these are crazy people. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, these are like her like now, <laughs> in fairness to my kids. Yeah. I remember this. I always do this. My daughters were like when they were younger. They share a room because we have a three bedroom house. Guess what? We have five people in it. Yeah. I can't help it. Yeah. One night, Maggie was like, I'd like to have another kid. Once again, that five <laughs> minutes of sex was great. You know what I mean? Um, that's all. That's, that was the, dude, we were like watching a movie, yeah. drinking fucking Bud Lights. Yeah. And she's like, I want to have another kid. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a good idea. And she's like, Did you, you want to get laid? And I'm like, yeah, fuck yes, it. I like, I'll change my entire life for this right now. Like, I'll, I'll upend my life. You know what I mean? Like, that's that, dude, that was the decision. You were rational for a half a second, and then you're like, well, it is getting late. Yeah, All right. I'm like, well, I am going to get late. In, in that moment, Tess had to share a room yeah, with that. <laughs> yeah. and, Tom, and Tommy's like, thank God it wasn't a boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they share a room, and at the beginning, when they were younger, like, my fucking, this mic keeps going out. All right. So anyways, when they were younger... My uh, oldest would be like, I want my own room. I want my own room. I want my own room. Like, I want to play fucking point guard for the Celtics. Like, yeah. everybody wants something that they're not going to get. Absolutely. And I'd always be like, you know, my buddy Kevin Ma? I'm like, he had a, they had two bunk beds in one room. Four boys. That's how they grew up. All right? And I'm like, Maggie's like, that's not like a really good example. Like, you know, you're like, <laughs> no, like, but, like, but I'm like, dude, we got what we got. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I'm not exactly. moving. I don't have an extra room. Yep. Like, you want, like, go Who's, fucking move it. Find, go, like, find, like, a... Uh, Daddy Warbucks or something, move into his house with Annie and fucking, you can have the whole place to yourself. You know what I mean? What do you there want was, me to do? There was four boys in the Mars house? There's four boys, one girl, and they had a three-bedroom house, and the boys had two bunks and so one room. Th- wow. Now, as I talked to the Prince of the Projects, oh, yeah. that's fucking outrageous, yeah, by the wild. way. Wild. <laughs> wild. I mean, my mother had her own bedroom. Mm-hmm. You know where she slept? Where? Living room. Mm-hmm. Fucking nuts, yeah. right? <laughs> now these four kids are just sitting in. Yeah, we get. We hey, get, what do they have to do? You get limited but space. Wait a minute, but wait a minute. The projects about, upgrade you. They're like, oh, you had another kid? You get a four bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The it's a, it's it a fair point. It's a fair point. <laughs> you know what I mean? How about the Frannies? What, all 5,000 of them? 18 <laughs> fucking kids. What? Oh, yeah. In one family? One, one family. family. And their, so house, they, their yeah. house is no big. No, 1,500 all, square feet. No disrespect to this garage. It was this. It was this. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But they had kids through like 
well, I want to say the late seventies, the eighties, and all of the nineties. Yeah, like imagine thirty years of popping out kids. How, God how, bless Miss Friend. So here's another fact, <laughs> right? Two girls. Yep. That's it. Mm-hmm. And one set of twins. Out of all those fucking kids. That's crazy. All boys. Just yeah, fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. just churning out boys. Crushing boys. Uh, and, and disgustingly mm. good athletes. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't produce those, by the way. I just want to <laughs> let you know. Like I, I, I produce great, uh, great outline and great sweatpants, but not great athletes. Uh, um, yeah, so, dude, but it's funny because it's like, you know, like I said, like when women live together, shit gets... They don't fight like guys fight, where it's just like I've had, you know, it's like it's like they, they it elevates, and all yeah. of a sudden, like they're fucking just boom, 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 and you can oh, feel yeah. it going up, and all of a sudden, it's like, mm-hmm. like it's like the rec- you know what I mean? It's like it's like the fucking emergency alerts going off on the TV. It's like, mm-hmm. wah, wah, wah. it's like what the fuck is happening? You here? gotta you know clear I mean? out because it's gonna happen, dude. Like it gets fucking nuts. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? And now my oldest daughter is gonna go to college next year. My youngest is like amped because she's like, I'm gonna have my own fucking room. Hell yeah. And my oldest is like, I'm never. Until I'm fucking a grown up, I'm never gonna have my own room. She's like, I'm gonna have to share a room in college. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yep. I'm like, well, you could get a single. And she's like, I don't want to be one of those losers that gets a single. I'm like, spot. That's yeah. that's a loser move. It. Yeah, yeah no, people who get singles are they're you know losing DNA. Well, the kind of people that end yeah. up on Dateline. You know what I mean? Like that's a that's a guy who like gets a fucking single. You know like what I mean? Uncle Touchy. Yeah, 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 yeah dude. Like it's just fucking it's just staring through windows, rubbing one out. Like exactly. you're in there by yourself for a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like nobody chooses solitary confinement in fucking no, college. Dude. You know what I mean? Four years in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> Four years in the hole in college. Dude. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Can't even share a ramen. I nothing. Know, nothing. Uh, Staring out the window watching life happen. Yeah. <laughs> Sending kites to the guys with bunkies. Oh, oh, let me see. I, hold on. I want to tell the story real quick because the fucking, uh, like I said, the woman that. Sending kites. <laughs> Sending kites. <laughs> Uh, and by the way, if you don't know what a kite is, you've watched enough TV or been to jail. <laughs> yeah. uh, you don't know people that ever went through the system. Yeah. Never. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of families, so I'm at this event yesterday, right? Now, there were a lot of kids there. I fucking, and they were little kids. They're running all around in front of where I'm playing. I'm fine with that. It's mm-hmm. whatever. They're, they're kids. They were, parents would let them play wall ball at one point next to my head. I got a fucking <laughs> Nerf ball. And I'm like, this is my life, right? <laughs> like at one point, at one you're, point. You're yeah. playing? What is wall ball? Like, like off the wall. Off the wall. Off the wall. With the ball. Yeah. Suicide? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Suicide. Thank you. But it was like a yeah. Sting. whatever. Yeah. Sting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. So, so you're, you're, you're playing and this is happening? This is happening. And I'm like, I used to have like, I was blogged about as having one of the best albums in the country in the Americana scene at one point. And I got this fucking dickhead from Mountland throwing a fucking Nerf ball at my face, right? You know who you're preaching to right now? The choir? Mo Morrill. Oh, so I'm getting there though. So listen. Oh, okay. So I told Kevin Gandhi the story afterwards. Now I gotta say this. I want to just I don't think that this woman Byrne listens to the podcast. If she does, it was a great event. And yeah. like those aren't her kids. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's fine. Like, yeah, but like they weren't policing these kids. Like I would have been like, dude, give this guy a little space. You know what I mean? He's trying to play fucking child children's right now, and you get fucking about to knock his mic stand over. So <laughs> fucking playing in traffic, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, I just think the younger generation of parents has gotten softer. And like they they yeah. like they you're just not, wanted, you're not wrong. Yeah. No. So, anyways. Yeah. The kid, got, little kid, comes to me and goes, "Hey, do you know Drunken Sailor?" And I'm like, "I know it, but I don't know the song. But I'll learn for you next year. Get the fuck out of here, right?" <laughs> Beating little shit. The mother comes over to me. He goes, "Do you know Seven Drunken Nights?" This is like 20 minutes later, and I'm like, "Yeah, I know the song." I'm like, "I don't know it though." And she's like, "Can you just play a verse?" And I'm like, "They One love verse. it." She goes, One "They verse. love it, right?" And I go, "But, but I don't." She know goes, it. "You know Drunken Sailor?" And I go, "Well, those are two different songs. First of all, that's two different songs. Mm-hmm. Get your fucking Ireland info and knowledge and fucking place." Second of all, you want me to do this fucking little kid a favor? This motherfucker's been throwing a fucking mad ball at my head for like 25 minutes. You want me to fuck? Yeah, you know what? Let me learn it. Let me go in the back room, figure out this fucking song for you so you can pack up in your fucking Jeep Commander or whatever and go after your sweet ass house and fucking Marblehead and fuck yourself. Like, I was like, dude, what happened to parenting and being like, oh, yeah, like, like, She's like, you, I'm like, you, that's not how, I don't know if you have any concept of how music works. Mm-hmm. But it's like, usually, she's like, you could just come up with the verse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on. Let me, Do you know uh, this there's song? a song in existence. Let me telepathically learn it right now and then spit it back to you. Like, do you have a fucking brain in your head? You she know thought what I mean? you were AI generated. Dude, <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like yes. a jukebox. She sticks Dude. a quarter in your head. And you know what? And, and then the woman out. afterwards who runs the thing, she's like, there's this other 
club. We'd like to have you there. And like, it's like a, I don't know if it's like a, they have like food and stuff. It's on the water, my blood. And I'm obviously like, yes, I would do that. And I said to um, the guy I was with, one of the guys was like, oh, I said, you went and saw Genty. He's like, he, he's like, you know, you're playing gigs like him. I'm like, I'm the dollar store. I'm like the fucking <laughs> dude. I'm like the BJ, like the building 19 Genty. You know what I mean? I'm the North Shore building, building 19, 19 Genty. You know what I mean? That's what I am. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. His fucking sweet yeah. ass broads at his shows yeah. dancing around, right? Like fucking building dancing all over the place. Yeah. And I got fucking Kids little Tommy sting. Dixon over here fucking... <laughs> Pissing his pants in front of me and doing, I'm doing, I'm like doing balloon animals basically. Yeah. This fucking kid, like a fool. You know what I mean? <laughs> you didn't All know right. that you didn't know that they hired you as a babysitter. Dude, no, a musician, dude, you know what I mean? I gotta go now. Listen, that was a family event, so I'm not gonna even like. It was, it's fine. I just wish people like I would be like idiot. Like then some kid literally threw a ball at me at one point. Some like four year old. He like <laughs> and the dad was like, oh shit, like sorry. I'm like. It was Connor. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Connor Fitz, can, Fitz listen, dropped him off. Connor was at my, <laughs> Connor I'm like, was hey, at, Brendan's playing. Go go watch him. Bang! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Connor was at, Connor's at the about respect. Connor was at the He's show. He's a good kid. On, uh, and he was like, dude, he was mad respect. He likes tunes. He, he, was, likes, cha- he was chatting up Maggie he liked, at oh, yeah. one point. He was like, he's like, let's see how he was. He's like, <laughs> he's like, you want to play Mario? <laughs> Maggie's like, fuck yeah. I'm yeah, man. yeah. Maggie and Connor are Mario buddies. All right, we're going to do ads. We're going intersper- to disperse them throughout the show. Okay. Uh, ben Franklin Print Company. We start with them because they're doing the the, uh, the jerseys, sweatshirts. By the way, if you haven't seen the uh, fucking images, they're fucking sick. So uh, Corker on the back with a with a um, with sick, a shamrock sick, in them, and uh, I can't wait. They're gonna be awesome. Black, um, <clears throat> black guys. Malcolm X hat comes with it free. Uh, <laughs> 7341 Ben Franklin Print Company. More than print. Actually, Josh the Ironwork was like, dude, I want to get. Uh, he wants to get Church of Luck shirts made. Uh, and he's like, and then I want to have a Church of Luck potty in my garage. I'm like, I'm fucking yeah, in, dude. Sure. I'm in. He comes out with a loincloth on, dude. Dude, <laughs> dude he wa- yeah, yeah. And he's like, I also want to get garage sweatshirts. He's like, how much are they? And I'm like, I was, I was like, I don't know. Talk to Joe because he'll give you pricing based on whatever. But I'm like, they're awesome sweatshirts. And he's like, but he's like, uh, I don't want to charge people for it. I'm like, dude. Why not? Like, I'll buy one for you for, 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 for it. You pay for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, They're yeah. great. I'll pay for a great hoodie. Dude, people wear these hoodies constantly. Like, yeah. like it's everybody's favorite hoodie. Tommy just said my son. He goes, dude, everybody in town's got this fucking thing on. My you know hoodie I mean? is on the backseat of my chair. I'm being dead serious. At work. Yeah. Sitting there, and it's the logo facing forward or yeah. whatever. My CFO of my company comes walking, and he's like, Good guys, uh, trash people, huh? And I go, yeah. He goes, why would they do that? I go, what are you talking about? He goes, why would a good guy trash the people? I go, you don't fucking get it. <laughs> like, get the this fuck is, out of here. So this is, that's why we're moving on from that. Well, it's an awesome, not permanently. No, I know, but it's an awesome fucking saying, and we know what it means, and everyone that listens knows what it means. People that just see it on the street, they're like, they don't get it. They maybe, think it means we, something maybe else. Maybe we need a comma. Uh, no, you know, I don't know. People I think it's just, yeah, I think it's just yeah. people, people don't really get it. Yeah, and you know what? That's their problem. A lot of people it don't is. get it. Yes. You it know is. what I mean? Yeah. So, anyways, you know who gets it? Ben Franklin. Um, 978 624 7341, com. more than print. Um, and we'll do, uh, we'll do another ad in a minute. We'll just break these into, into parts. Paul Gentile, central marketing officer. Chief marketing officer, sorry, uh, told me he's like you got to break him up throughout the show. So I'm like, he said that to me too. I'll tell you right now, you give me advice, I take it. I don't pretend like I know everything. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, yeah. So if you have little kids, don't bring them to any of my shows from now on. How do you like that? Uh, yeah. No, I was, it was fine. But uh, it was just like I was just thinking more like how I would parent these kids as a parent. Like I'm like I wouldn't let like you wouldn't. But then I, th- like I think you still do it. Like, if you want to go to a brewery and bring your kids there, just make sure they're not fucking whipping balls off the town. Dude, these kids were wrestling. Like, I got a problem. And by the way, dude, yeah, yeah. wait. I got a problem. With I, I hate fucking breweries because of that. Because it's kids. Because it's kid friendly. I don't know. I, I grew up in a bar room. The, I, if, you go to, if you go to Mixed Drink in Malden, I gave you your ice. <laughs> yeah. All right? Yeah. But now you got a brewery. Yeah. You, it's called a brewery. You want to bring your kids, your dogs, fuck everything. Yeah, dog. I agree with you. What are we fucking doing? Well, Mo, 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 Mo is loving you. Who right? runs the crappy mafia page. It's fucking ridiculous. He says, leave the kids at home. What are yeah. we doing? Enough. Yeah. I Enough. agree with him. Plus, like, plus, like, it, like, you know what? It's funny. I was playing the, going to play the North Shore Beef song when we were at Twits of Fate, which, I, by the way, that place is awesome. And 
my my nieces and nephews came. Now they're older, so like they're not gonna be fucking wrestling each other on the floor. But um, these kids were just wrestling, and it's like, and I was saying like to somebody, I'm like, I don't know if I should play this song because there's like an f bomb in it, right? And somebody's like, dude, they brought their kids to a brewery. They're at a fucking drinking establishment. It is yep. what it is. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. How I brought my kids to Lily Peace. Yeah. How did it work out? I don't know. I sang songs with cocaine in it. So. Yeah, that boy. That boy. I did it yesterday again too. That's by what the way. I mean. It was it was fine. But yeah, I'm a parent that says, "Nope, you're not going over there and throwing a fucking tennis ball against a wall." Yeah, right. You know what I mean? We yeah. went out to dinner, and Brendan happened to be playing. Yeah, right. There was like, they're super well behaved. Yeah, it wasn't like they were running around fucking mm-hmm. causing a ruckus. Yeah, pa- it's it, the parents of the issue. I, I agree. I agree with you. I agree. Yeah, I agree. And and Bobby C. We had we had the best upbringing ever. Yeah. I would rather have that than these fucking parents right now. Well, I had fear of a fucking belt. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I stepped out of line. I was catching an ass whooping. So beat, like, let's yeah, break. Beat, let's make beat beat great again. Yes, that's our new logo. Yes, <laughs> you know yes. Mean? Like, right on the back. Make beating your kid great yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why I didn't fucking run around the bar room and fucking throw tennis balls and shit like that? Because no, I'd get a beaten. But that you was could, it. You could be in a. You could be in a bar room. No oh, problem. Yeah. Do you remember the death steer? Let me bring that, right? I'd be in the supermarket with my mother, right? And we'd be walking around, and I'd be fucking around. I'd be knocking shit off the shelves because I was a little fucking bastard, right? Yeah. I'll admit it. I was. No I chance. still am. You? No, never. What's it called? So, dude, she wouldn't even say a word. She just hit me with the bang, with the look, right? And I'd go, fuck. <laughs> and then I'd try to be as good as I possibly could. For, for the like, next ten, for the ten next seconds. Hour. No, for the next hour. I'm fucking, oh, my, you want this? Oh, you want that? <laughs> you know why, right? Yeah, because what? To avoid the fucking hands. Yeah. Dude, the but hands no were coming how after good that I was, test, yeah, the hands Jesus were coming. Jesus himself could have came down and said, Patty, that yeah. ain't the play, right? I'm getting that beaten in the car. Bang. As soon as I get in the car, bang, 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 right? And I learned my lesson. I'm going to cry on the way home. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry on the way home, but the next time we in the supermarket, <laughs> I'm going to get shit off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Yeah. I'm going to do it again. That's it. You got mind control over D. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think it's funny how, like, I do think it's funny when it's like, you know what's weird when you have co- like a cousin, like I have cousins who listen to the show. Yeah. Great people. Love all my cousins. Just want to say that right now. But it's weird as you get older when you're like hanging out with a cousin or something, you're like, the only thing we really have in common is that we are births from the same like bloodline. You know what I mean? So like you see him somewhere, like I've met up with a cousin before and been like, after a little bit, you're like, do we really got anything to talk about here? You know what I mean? Like, like, do we have anything like not and by the way, that goes both ways. That goes for them, for me. Like they're like, what, what the fuck is this kid doing? You know what I mean? Like, but oh, my father said this yesterday. I don't, I, if I'll forget the fact, don't say it. You know, what he said to me yesterday. He goes, when I used to see Portnoy, when he was like on his shit, like doing stuff, I'd say, what does fucking parents think of this kid? You know what I mean? He goes, and now I see you. That's you. Yeah. And he goes, yeah. the difference is, you don't make millions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Being a fucking jackass. Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Hey, by, by the way, Portnoy. I said the last part. Portnoy's so. parents. Yeah. They're from Walden. Are they? Are of they? course they are. You know that? No. Up on, up on the street, right near Far uh, Ferryway. Get out of here. I swear to God. And what? They moved over. Wait, because he's from Swampscott, right? Yeah. He grew up in Swampscott. Yeah. 100%. Like he's, he, but he has Malden blood. I knew he had good roots. You, you know, know what, what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. We started. Good hey, guy, trash it. person. Yeah. We started that. Yeah, Good guy, it. trash person. That's it. <laughs> so, speaking of uh, family, we're doing a show about families, right? You're talking yep. about cousins. Two of my cousins were at my house yesterday. Yeah. So, I think it's, I don't know how yours was, but mine was, we, my grandmother had a lake house. Yeah. And she got it when her sister died. So, she basically had, just had to pay the taxes. Yep. So, we would all share that lake house all summer. So my mother and all of her siblings, which was seven of them, seven brothers and sisters, so I have a ton of cousins, would share that lake house, and we would share two weeks during the summer, two weeks during the summer, two weeks during the summer, and all the kids would stay up there. So all the cousins would be with whichever sibling or husband and wife was up there. Yeah. So my parents would be up there for two weeks. That's actually smart. They would have all the cousins there. So they'd be like seven, eight, nine kids just in the house with my parents, which kind of sucked for them. But then they would go home and leave the kids all there. Yeah. The next 
family would go up and have those kids there. So like my my cousins on that side, which two of them were there yesterday. Yep. They, we're more like siblings. brothers and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's we still awesome. have that's we fucking have awesome. One of yeah. them who wasn't there yesterday is playing in the golf tournament with me. <clears throat> Dude, we we are more like siblings than we are cousins. That's awesome. It's yeah. fucking well, great. I gotta say this too, and I'm gonna give a little advice out there to the kids that are listening to this that are the younger generation, of which we have a handful. And when you're starting to like interview for a business relationship, by that I mean marrying a chick. <laughs> Get make sh- I have the best brother in laws, like in the business. Like except, if you, you, except if you want to hike. Yeah, except if you yeah, want to. Don't fucking, follow him up yeah, a mountain. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> hey, ten cent head, but he's fucking. He's yeah. Uh, but on on Maggie's side, her brother's awesome. Her sister's husband, Bobby, is like one of my best friends. Like we go out golfing. Like I can go out with this kid in silence. <laughs> That's something. That, like, I can't say about a lot of people. Like, I can go on a fucking two-hour car ride with that kid, say, like, 20 words, then be in comfortable silence. That's how you know you really are fucking, like, can hang with somebody. Now, if you have a shitty brother-in-law, I've heard people say this, like, my brother-in-law is a fucking loser. He's an asshole. It's like, socks, dude. You yeah. know what I mean? It happens, by the way. You, you do want the wife to be better than the... Don't 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 base it just on the good brother in law. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, like, don't marry Gagamel just because you, uh, you know what I mean? Just because you fucking, she's got a like, fucking great looking, great brother in law is a good shit. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, Maggie, speaking of family, like you know what's funny too is when you meet your wife's family, extended family. Like Maggie has a huge extended family, um, and she has one. Uh, it's baiting if I should tell the story or not right now. How uh, many kids? She's one of how many? Maggie's one of three. But she's got like a big Irish family, so like on two, her two brothers. Side. Uh, no, she has a brother and a sister, and they're cool. Robbie's awesome. Um, I got a story for the Patreon that you yeah. got to remind me about this story of me and Rob and Patreon. Yeah, All right, it's up to them. Too. By the way, uh, Patreon, I just want to say this about the hoodies real quick because I forgot about this. And you're gonna like, I'm not, this is not listen, I think people think this is like Patreon people get first dibs on the hoodies, and the reason is. They're the most dedicated clothes. Fucking it would be like ridiculous yeah. if we weren't giving them first dibs. Yeah. Yep. So like people get a little annoyed at that. Like, but and I'm not saying to join to become a Patreon member just for the hoodie, but like they pay for they it. They get first dibs. Yeah. On the hoodie. Uh so anyways, uh Bobby, do me a favor, can you move that yellow can? I got a feeling like half this video is going to be a Red Bull camp. <laughs> <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored either. Hey, why don't you do uh Lily Peace? Okay. Lily P's Chicken, 50 Binney Street, Cambridge, Mass. Uh. I was there last Thursday. So I get home, pick up the kids, walk into my house. Melissa walks over. She goes, hey, I know we got dinner plans. Like, we we already know what we're cooking. She's like, Brendan's playing at Lily P's. Do you want to go there? Come and on. And I was like, 100%. Bingo. Yeah. I was Sick. not going to turn that down, Absolutely. you know? She was like, we should support Brendan. And we should support executive chef and owner Chris Parsons. Love it. Why not? She said it exactly like that. 100%. (laughs) And she was like, (laughs) lilypeaschicken.com. Parking is validated in the lot next door. And I was like, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yes, I know. I read this every fucking week. She goes, also, try the shishito peppers. Matt Ricci said, come on. Yeah. No way. These are the best shishito peppers in the world. And I was like, Melissa, stop it, will you? We're already going. <laughs> I already said yes. Stop doing the ad. Because she's a ball buster just oh, like yeah. Diana, you know? Uh, I had the hot and honey. Obviously. Fire. Yeah. Obviously. Dude, I've never got their mac and cheese. I got the mac and cheese as a was side. It, it was unbelievable. One of the best the mac and cheeses un- I've had. Yeah, it's it was so real, good. Dude. Day one. So good. Day one sponsor. My daughter got uh, the pretzel with the mustard dipping sauce. She ate like the whole pretzel. Connor loves fries, so the fries were good. She, he he ate those. Um, what else did we get? We got one other thing. I don't bear. know. It was all yeah, all the got, bear. All, all the bear. misguided spirits. Oh yeah. yeah. In, so in Melissa's order, and she's like, "Can I get a misguided and soda with the lime?" And I was like, "Danny would have fucked that up. <laughs> you would have wanted captains." <laughs> I, I've done that. I know. You know what In I mean? front of the owner of the company. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right next to the guy. I'm like, can I get a I know. Luckily, James, James, like, luckily, so James I would have got 
it would have been Tito's just, in, in, in just, my mind. It's, yeah. And it's just like, because that's what you used to ordering. Yeah. She ordered misguided in, in soda. And I was like, nice fucking job. Yeah, yeah, good work. Well, that's what she does. So that's lilypeaschicken.com. They also have Hub Hall location for all your sandwich needs before Boston Garden. Anytime you go into the Boston Garden North Station. Hell yeah. Uh, Lily Peace Chicken. Real quick, uh, that night after you left. So they had a band after that called the B3 Kings, right? They're like just an instrumental. They're sick. So anyways... I'm looking at the guy, and I'm like, I fucking know this guy from somewhere, the guitar player. I mean, he's, like, ludicrous, dude, right? So he's sitting there, and I'm like, and I see, like, his tip jar thing. It's like Johnny Trauma, and I'm like, Johnny Trauma, the trauma unit. He used to play with Peter Prince. I used to go see these shows. So I interrupted, the, like, after he's, like, taking a break in the middle of a song. I go, hey, dude, I used to come see you in fucking 2005. You are a motherfucker on that guitar. And I was like, and I, I, he's like, yeah, we all played with him. Like, I was like, I'm like, dude, Johnny, first of all, I always thought Johnny Trauma, the trauma unit was, like, the best name ever of a fucking... Of, of any band I ever heard, right? So anyways, we may have done a shot ski together, uh, off the shot ski before. I have a video. Uh, like, these were, like, I was, like, geeking out. Like, I was, like, I was, like, I need to fucking most. see these guys. So anyways, I'm talking to the guy. I'm, like, I'm like dude, that, that third song you played was from the Blues Brothers. And one of the guys goes, no, that's not the Blues Brothers. The other guy goes, yeah, it is. It's when they're driving to Ray's Music Exchange. Now, well documented, my love for the movie The Blues Brothers, and I've seen it a million times. And uh, Cool Hand Luke. And Cool Hand Luke. But Blues Bros way more. Um, and the guy goes, I'm about to blow your mind. And I'm like, what's up? He's like, my uncle's Mr. Fabulous. And I'm like, no fucking way. And like, for those people who haven't seen it, it Kevin Ma always uses this line. So I, I had Kevin over here. I told him, I go, guy says, my uncle's Mr. Fabulous. He goes, ah, we're never going to get that fat horn sound again with all Mr. <laughs> Fabulous. He's a made a deal with that fancy restaurant. Uh, so anyways, just wanted to say a shout out because they took stickers and maybe they listen, maybe they don't. Also, by the way, real quick, shout out if she does listen this week. Jinty's girl. Um, oh, yeah, baby. Slap that sticker up at the Dot Tavern. Let's go. Nice. Like, and I, I go to, a, like, this was like you with the memento. Like, where you're like, what happened last night? Did I fucking do this? Did I do nothing? And I'm like, how'd she get a sticker? And Maggie Maggie's like, I had him. I fucking gave it to her. I'm like, that's a fucking. Maggie that's came a move. in clutch. That's yeah. a fucking mm-hmm. move right there. It's a move. Um, so, anyways, yeah. Cousins, but I'm saying, like, I think it's, I do think it's like a weird thing when it's like, Cousins, brothers, sisters, whatever. You, you, that's, you got that. Like, that's what you got, right? That's, like, your fucking thing. And, like, my cousin, Lisa, who was sharing every, like, fucking Irish music post I made. She's like, this is my cousin. He's awesome, whatever. Your kids fucking throw balls at his face when he's playing fucking mm-hmm. uh, Pogue songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, like, families like that because, like, you're stuck with them. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're, you, for better or for worse, this is what you got, right? No, yeah. And you just never, like... When you're with family, it's like you can. It's kind of the only time you can kind of completely. There's no fucking mask for you. You know what I mean? Like you're so exposed. Like it's like you know, like you said, you've seen me shit my fucking drawers. Yeah. yeah. You've seen me sit on the bed, edge of the bed naked. Yeah. You've seen like you fucking change my diaper. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, you know what I my best and worst fucking things about me. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? got some trauma bonds with my fucking cousins too. Do you ever catch a residual beating from your uncle? I mean, that's serious. So me, do you know my cousin Gary, my cousin Brian, my cousin Richie, my I cousin Steve, right? I know them all. So we, again, we were derelicts, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what would happen, my poor Auntie Cheryl, right? She'd be downstairs and we'd be beating the fucking shit out of each other upstairs, right? And she'd be like, you motherfucker, shut up up there. When Uncle Rick comes home, he's laying a beating on us. We'd be like, fuck you, right? And we'd be running around like little assholes, right? But the funny thing, he was a union worker, so he would fucking, we'd be, like, playing around upstairs, and all of a sudden, we'd see his car pulling in the driveway, we'd be like, oh, shit, right? And next thing you know, we're reading the Bible, right? <laughs> fucking sitting there like this, and all of a sudden, you'd hear her go, they were fucking bastards, you gotta lay a beating on them, right? And then he'd be like, all right, and he'd come up. So now he just worked at 10, right? <laughs> Six to fucking four, right? Well, no problem. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's covering his sheetrock dust. He doesn't want to deal with these little <laughs> bastards, right? So he comes upstairs. Now, my cousin Brian, right, is a sweetheart. The kid has never done a pro- never done a crime, never Never done, never, probably never swore in his life, right? <laughs> so he's up there, like, playing with blocks and shit like that. He's the fuck out of him. Dude, so he walks in, he's like, you know what's going to happen. Like, yeah, and he's like, crack, Bam! crack, crack, crack. And then my cousin Brian's, like, in the corner with a smile on his face. He's like, slap, and gets him. And he got fucking, like, a residual beating for nothing. You know what I mean? Terrible. That poor prick. That's so always, bad. That's how we know. Yeah, yeah. Brian doing these days. <laughs> <laughs> Brian still been cut. Brian, Brian made a book. <laughs> no, dude. You know, what do they call that? Uh, Collateral damage? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 Brian yeah, made yeah. a book, dude. I know. Dude. 
Hopefully he's making money off that book. <laughs> poor kid. <laughs> what do I mean? That's so like, terrible. me and my cousins got some trauma together. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Like I said, they're like same thing. They're like brothers and shit like that. Like we grew up doing whatever we could, and I grew up in the projects. And they had like my uncle, like I said, he was a union worker, he had a nice job, whatever, and he would like bring me up to New Hampshire with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah. And the weekends, they had like a trailer up in New Hampshire and like Keene, New Hampshire, way up, right? And he'd bring us up there. And like, I'm not used to the woods. I, I'm not lying <laughs> to you. So like, I'm driving Concrete the jungle, high. Bobby. Yeah. Dude, if I don't see triple deckers, I start getting queasy. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is all this, right? And then we'd go up there and shit. And I, he'd like let us look. And he, obviously, he wanted to go up there and pound a few fucking beers and say, yeah. kids, go get lost in the woods. Amen. And we would. Don't you know throw I mean? that ball at that guy playing guitar over there. <laughs> Yeah. Stay away from Uncle Ricky. He's a little touchy. You know what I mean? But you can do whatever you want in the woods. You know what I mean? Fucking, we'd be running amok like maniacs. So, like, I grew up with my cousins. I had a great time with them. They're all good kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I have that with them. But then there's cousins on my other side. I, I probably talked to them twice in my life. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll never talk to those kids. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Same, um, hey, let's way. do, uh, let's do, all right. This week's, uh, this week's fucking hotline. It's brought to you by fucking Tedco. This we week. we okay. have for it. I got it. Tedco. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to read the ad first. You all can right. put them on. It doesn't matter. Um, all right, my guy Ted. Get in bed with Ted. Listen, Teddy went up to Fonz to look at a deck the other day. I don't know the results of that situation yet, but I can tell you this much. You can rely on Teddy, all right? He's not going to fucking, listen, he's not going to throw balls at you when you're playing tunes, all right? He's going to give you a fair and accurate fucking um, estimate on your job. He's gonna, he'll do your basement. He'll do your kitchen. He'll put on an addition. All right? He will fucking, like, do it all. I got a conversation with him scheduled for this week. Uh, we're supposed to go back out to fucking dinner. I swear to God, this mic I'm going to throw it through the fucking window. Um, <laughs> keeps coming in and out of me. Like, like, like don't... I, I, my fucking patience is thin, <laughs> microphone. Anyways, um, get in bed with Ted, as I say. And they are absolutely awesome. 617-996-6827. All right? Um, they do it all though, like design build, like they'll do, they'll, they'll fucking help you out with everything you need. Admin at tedcocm.com. Go follow them, by the way. Also, by the way, follow us on everything. Are you following us on YouTube? You Are you following be. us on you fucking Instagram? Be. Yep. You should be. Are you following us on fucking, uh, be a loser. we're not on Twitter. Facebook. All right. X. Mm -hmm. Mostly because it's too right. Pornhub. Uh, yeah. You want Pornhub <laughs> with us. You know what I mean? There's a video of me, Danny, and Fitzy all banging the same broad on there. Bing bong. Uh, <laughs> Follow, uh, sign up for Venmo. Follow us on Venmo. Yeah. Feel free to fucking yeah. send whatever yeah. you, you want. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. A buck, a quarter, and, whatever. But if you, if you want to reach out to us, we also have pullmccork1 at gmail.com. Yes. Send us an email yeah, there. Send it, if you have any, any idea, feedback, by the way. Whatever you want, send us. You don't have to be Mr. Mr. Fucking Doctor Strange to get to, to get a private audience with us, all right? Mm. Uh, now, I mean, uh, Doctor Strange is the man. Um, that said, like, this is the year, by the way, as we're coming up on it right now. I said this to you guys the other day. The show's hitting its stride. I fucking believe in the show. So we're going to fucking do everything we can to spread it. We believe in I don't the need show. To, we don't yeah. need to own the fucking United States, but we need to own this area of the country, okay? Yeah. Because there's a lot of fucking... By the way, I came up with a new thing. People are like, I love when you call people zeros. This came out completely organically yesterday. Called some guy a zip. I'm like, he's a fucking zip. <laughs> like, like that's even worse than being a zero. You're a fucking zip. We've, uh, beneath, uh, we've called a zero. A, we've called a lot of people a lot of shit. Well, uh, lemon. I'm gonna call this fucking Mike a zero. It won't stay on. <laughs> Fuck. I'm getting fucking wicked pissed off. All right. Anyways, come on. Let's listen to voicemails. Here we go. Sailor. Sailor's the best. Still him, right? I don't think so. It was a different. I think, it is. I think it was. I didn't expect there to be a podcast tonight, considering it's the day after St. Patrick's Day, which is basically like the PTC guys' fucking group <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> anyway, ever since the unicorn was on the podcast, my like emo woke up in me. My pop punk woke up. It was dead, and now when my family needs something or asks me for something, I can't help it. I just keep singing the answer to them. <laughs> Like, for example, my wife was like, did you take the dog out today? I was like, I already took the dog out today. And the oh, yeah. They're getting sick of it real fucking quick. That's awesome. Anyway, I love all of you. Evan? Peace, madness. Oh, Make Billy, Billy. Really? Oh, that's bad. Oh, unicorn. Jesus Christ. And, uh, <laughs> what else was I going to tell you guys? Fuck you, Jump Town. <laughs> Talk about oh, ten cent. He goes, he goes, this is the unicorn. He's singing, he's singing music. I You're said like, it before Evan? that. 
<laughs> My bad. All right. What's up, fellas? This is Evan. Hope you guys had a good St. Patty's Day. Bobby C., what's up, buddy? Uh, I know you guys are talking family tonight. Uh, I just want to give a shout-out to my wife, Mohan. who's been studying for, like, hey, literally Evan. two years. This guy. Just passed her CFP. Took, Let's like, go, an eight-hour test on Saturday and Killed fucking it. passed. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, anybody needs any uh, financial planning, let me know. <laughs> All right, have a good day, fellas. Uh, apparently I do because I'm still a member of Eric Church's church choir. I got a fucking brick and fucking I was gonna say, right. You need that app that fucking tracks your monthly payments. You know what, dude? I downloaded one of those apps. I think that thing robbed me, too. Like, yeah. I, I'm, Dude, I'm like the easiest. I, I'm, you know what I'm wicked good at? You're a I'm wicked good at making money, Like, but I'm worse at, like, I'm better at, like, fucking Stunning. getting rid of it, dude. Yeah. Like, I fucking, I get fleeced. I'm like, uh, all right, ready? The boys just checking in to see if Gillis lost another draft this week. <laughs> Gillis, you'll be forever known as the donkey who drafted Victor Sweet. You're the pole in the court draft choker. On par with the likes Who's of Coca Hall of Fame as Bill Buckner, Tony Romo, Chris Webber, Scott Norwood, the Notre Dame fighter at Fighting Irish, and most and lastly, Ricky Martin. <laughs> Hope you're shitting corned beef sized footballs out all day for not drafting Gil Renard, you cheap. I fucking hate hey, this Bobby. kid. Hey, <laughs> Bobby! That's hey, one of the best. Did you have the best voice bills ever? That's a great one. Oh, my fucking God. I know. Dude, that I was cannot a, stand this kid. That was an AK-47 of ragging that right was, there. And so that's another reason why Doctor Strange is a little fucking How nervous about today? coming yeah, yeah. back. Because Bobby Froyo sends fire. Bobby throws straight 100 mile per hour gas. Right. Every time. Listen, I mean, and uh, like, look. I'm not going to say Dr. Strange told me he's lost his confidence and his swagger, but we shared a lot of moments. That, I can't uh, believe that's what he that. just said, dude. My head's in a fucking, it's in a pretzel right hey, now. But, all right, I got to say this, too. He just killed me. He bodied you. Here's yeah. it. Here's, sometimes you're going to lose. Yeah, right, that's it. Yeah, sometimes you're the fucking fly and sometimes you're the windshield. You know that's what I mean? It. Uh, he, dude, <laughs> you know what he said? Uh, Danny said, the other, uh, now, they, a little behind the scenes, I did tell, they, they knew that I met Doctor Strange. I mean, we did. They, they pretended he didn't know, but I did tell him in conference the other day. You know, he said he goes, "I go, I think he's scared of Bobby Froyo, and uh, just that he thinks he probably pissed him off." And Danny goes, "Bobby Froyo wouldn't fight a pocket ticket kid." <laughs> <laughs> and he's from Brockton. He's so sure a loser. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I gotta say he's this: awesome. he's a verbal assassin. And unbelievable, voice like mail. I'm fucking bullshit at him right now because I texted him. I'm like, dude, who does it noon? And he's like, he's like, I might try to swing by. They like, might try to swing. We went last year. This is a tradition for us, Bobby, me mm -hmm. and you. Now, Bobby Froyo is the type of guy that you could like. If I had to like live with Bobby Froyo, like for the rest of my life, I'd be like, that's fine. Like he's mm -hmm. dude. He's always got a smile on his face. Mm -hmm. He's always up to do something. You know what all I mean? He like, wants, all he wants to do is shit on everybody else. <laughs> he just wants to catch wreck. That's yeah. all he wants to do, dude. Catch wreck. Catch wreck. That's it. As hey, the original ginger said. Hey, can, can we can we steal that? Yeah, it's all yours. No, it's like it's ours. It's, yeah. it's ours. Yeah, but catch and wreck with Bobby catch, C. Catch and wreck with Bobby that's C. That's the name of this fucking. That's the next the name of this episode, by the way. <laughs> catch and wreck with Bobby C. We just need to catch rack. That's it. Yeah, it was either gonna be that or um, I hate kids from Mount Wood, so we're gonna go with that. One. <laughs> all right, go one more. Yo, it's your man Adam Jump. There he is. I almost forgot to give you guys a call, giving the old switcheroo on a Monday on us, but. Salante, happy St. Patrick's Day to all you. I hope you're all feeling well oh, and doing idiot. well. Starting this week off when we're talking about family, nothing more special to me than family. The Jump family was always the family to be around. Good times on Plum Island at the Jump House, Beach House. Um, beautiful times, memories on Plum Island in the ocean. And that's where we threw his ashes. And that's where we go. To really what? pull it in and be reminded that it truly is all about family and the ones around us <laughs> and the ones we hold dear and close to our hearts. Because just like that, they can be gone. It's the man out of Jump Jump Town. Get your head out of your asses. Get, hey, talk about getting your head out of your asses. Hey, guys. I he's a even, treasure, dude. He's the best, He's a dude. fucking treasure. He he's needs to be potential at all costs. By the way, he's overdue to come back on. Oh, yeah. We got to have uh, him. And I talked to him. So we got a big, we got a, we got some good ones coming up. Um. You want to read Bellas? 1211 Osgood Street, North Andover. Bellasna.com doesn't stand for Narcotics Anonymous. You already know that. It's the best fucking beef right now. And it's beef madness right now. Yeah. If, if you want to reach Join out. Join the beef page yeah. and fucking vote. Go for it. Go for it. And uh, Harry and Sandra will reach out to you. And 
It doesn't have to be just beef. It could be salads, pizza, yeah. everything. Everything you Egg need. Egg rolls. They don't have those, but. Yeah, we got them. We got them all. We got them all. The Chinese food place near there. <laughs> <laughs> we got them all. So there's that. Bellasna.com, 1211 Osgood Street, North Andover, Massachusetts, and there are dogs. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right. So, real quick, we got one more ass. That's uh, crazy. What's that? Miss <laughs> Rose. Real quick. It's nuts. <laughs> Uh, it just came out of my mouth. You know what? I'm fucking starving. That's he wants line. an egg roll. That's why. Dude, I would love Chinese food right now. What I haven't had it? Chinese food in like months. Wouldn't hate it. Dude. Are you, I a, are you a cold Chinese. Chinese food? No, we've talked about this. I, I can't do it. <laughs> Rice, I can't I do it. it. Can't the, oh, I can't by the way, it. I, can't I really can't do it. Come on. I, I gotta say this. I can't. Why not? I don't even need the next day. Thing, bud. Dude, you're, you're as poor as I was. Absolutely, but we could afford like, a fucking microwave, bud. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Dude, that rice I would rather a refrigerator more than a fucking microwave. Yeah, you do it. I can't do the cold Chinese food. That rice is like You could shoot someone rice with the cold rice. Dude. It's fine. You I'm in. Ch- I'm in. You can't chew no, that, No, wait, wait. Dude. We talking about, like, you'll smash pork lo mein cold? 100%. That's slime in that box. You're I'm cold. in. I can't do it. 100%. The fat is, like, that's congealed what, yeah, at that point. Yeah, that's what I mean. But you won't eat mayo. Correct. <laughs> Mayo's crazy. the best. All right, real quick. Oh, this is what I want to say real quick. This is inside baseball. My father was actually saying this. He's like, and I was kind of talking to Fitzy about it. I go back and forth sometimes, like how big of inside baseball we play on the show, but like people that like, because if you listen for the first time, like who the fuck is Matt Ricci and Bobby C and fucking, <laughs> you know, whatever. That said, we're not going back from that. We like this. We like the I fucking community, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but like, you know, I was thinking about that. I'm like, oh, we have all this like inside baseball shit we talk about on the show and everything like that. But I think I, I just fucking love it. I love fucking having yeah, like, like everybody it. be part of the fucking it's community. hilarious. You know yeah. what I mean? I yeah. You. And you know what? Go back. 95 episodes or whatever it is to take you to catch up. Be and you'll, know, you'll find the origin of everybody. You know what I mean? You'll find out who everybody is yeah, and you'll be absolutely. fucking in. Like, go what back and start. 103? Yeah, 103. 103. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. Is that why I came on? Yeah. 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 I mean, oh, shit. Shit. The local. 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 Shout out to those local. motherfuckers that don't pick up after themselves. <laughs> That's the electricians, but Bobby's my guy. <laughs> we ain't taking laborers work. No crossing crafts over here. No, absolutely All not. Right. Misguided spirits. Real quick, I got James, big bad James. Um, everybody knows how we feel about fucking James. All right. James is a dog, bro. Like, fucking everybody came to see James get beat. If you know what that's from, you're you're a fucking dog. And Fitz, <laughs> you know what that's from, right? Uh Froggy Fresh. You got it, buddy. All right. Tyler Cassidy. Um, anyways. Did you not think I knew where Misguided Spirits is the fucking best? All right. I by the way, thought I gave away the bottle of whiskey, couldn't find it, thought I gave it to Fitzy, thought I gave it to some neighbor. The other day, I'm like, it's just staring me dead in the face. Now, is there a chance my son might have got it out of the garage, yeah, put maybe. it somewhere, and then brought it back in is what I'm starting to think might have happened. Really? So if any of you little fucking rat friends, Tommy, listen to this, and let me tell you right now, I'm not that type of dad that, like, hits the <sighs> bottle of whiskey and is like, with oh, the they shopping? wanted it down. Yeah. No, I'll ta- with the I don't shopping. need a shoppy kid. My tongue will tell me if that thing's <laughs> legit or not. Actually, we're gonna taste it in a second. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, all right, let's, let's do one for the Patreon. Our guy James, listen, shots he fucking weekend. yeah, shots weekend. And our guy James is the fucking man. All right, and they he believes in us. We believe in him. He put up a post about us the other day. He's like the fucking boys. I'm yeah. like, yeah. We are the boys. He's yeah. awesome. Let's fucking go, James. Yeah, you know what I mean? Awesome. They got the best shit in the world. You can order this shit online. You can get it at Ball Square Fine, Fine Wines. wines. They're going to be involved, I think, within a week. They're going to be very, very close. They to- sold out. Yes. At wow. fr- in some of them. A case yeah. of whiskey. Sold out. Yeah. That's People awesome. go. That's I go, awesome. listen. Now, there's one thing I can promise you we can move. It's food. We can move booze. Yeah. All right? <laughs> Our people like to eat, and they like to drink. All right? Um, so, anyways, misguided-spirits.com. Give them a like. We're going to be doing a ton of stuff with them this year. They're going to be a sponsor of the, of the golf tournament. Um, Possibly. James was dude. James is like, we're, I'm sitting there with him. He's like, let's put an ice loser on 18. I'm like, dude, you they they're not supposed to have booze on the course. It's like, <laughs> they don't have to know. I'll just make. I'm like, no, you're gonna be. Asking, <laughs> I don't know the, if he knows how to go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this four foot block of ice just <laughs> wheel in. What's that for? <laughs> anyways, you know what I like? I like the pa- yeah. I like the passion in the fucking field. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So put anyways, an ice loser on 18. <laughs> James is okay. actually like, you know what James is like for us? I feel like he's like speaking of family. Like, he's like a brother we didn't know he had. Like, a fourth corker. So he is a great trash he, trash person. So what you just described was my entire family because I have two fucking separate sisters and brothers and everything else. And here we are, You got James. one of the best brother-in-laws in the world, by the way. No, I have 
most of the best brothers in laws ever. Brothers, ever. Brothers in laws. Mm-hmm. I have both. I, I can't leave them out. No, I was, see if you get the word out. I know. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on a second. All right. Yeah. So, anyway, no, I was talking about Jovan. I'm a fucking Jovan guy. I know, but you don't know the other ones. Yeah, they're probably fine. But yes. Javon's my guy. <laughs> Good guys. Great. Right. You know what I paid to have a black brother-in-law, by the way? Oh, by the way, I got to tell this story. I told these guys already. It, I think it's funny. How much I'd pay? Did you? Can we get that? Can we get that? You know how much I would pay to have a black I'd be like the best guy to have a black brother-in-law. You know what I mean? I'd do it for nothing. It'd be you at the family event with the Malcolm X hat on. That's what I'm saying. Like, 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 I, like that's why I was like, I have the best brother-in-laws. Because I was like, I have more. Yeah. You know, but... It, they were all, well, you got they were one all of the awesome. best. You got one of the best. Uh, I took a, so I'm at Jinty's show, and a couple things happened. I actually, I'll tell this right now because I thought it was funny. This girl was just dancing around by herself, and I went to Jinty. He's like, "Does it sound good out there?" You know, I'm like, "Yeah, it sounds good." I'm like, "Dude, that girl's on Molly." And he's like, "How do you know?" Hell and I'm yeah. like, "I sold it to her." Hell yeah. And he's like, <laughs> "And I'm like, no, nah, I'm just fucking around." So then there's these three black dudes in there, right? Just like hanging on the dance floor. So I start talking to one of them. I'm like, oh, he's like, this kid's sick. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's fucking my, one of my best friends. I'm like, boy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. We yeah. came over from Ireland together. <laughs> so anyways, I took He's him. one of my brothers. So, I'm talking to these guys, right? We're wicked cool dudes. Like, they're from Atlanta. They're like, we just, every St. Paddy's Day, we go to a different city. And we fucking, like, we go to, they, they, they're like, Savannah's the best. But, like, Chicago, now we're doing Boston this weekend. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's sick, dude. That's awesome. And I'm like, uh, let's take a fucking picture. And so, uh, incredible so picture. It's an unbelievable picture. So, as I'm taking the picture, I go, My friends are never going to believe it. I took a picture with a bunch of black guys. <laughs> and, uh, and they were like, <laughs> And like, and I'm like, I thought they were going to say they knew me. Dude, <laughs> did it hit? Did the joke hit? <laughs> it took a minute for it to land. <laughs> but it, when it landed, it was like interrupted. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm like, uh, Anyways, I had to tell them, I'm like, I had a Mal- Malcolm X out. I mean, fucking one of the original <laughs> fucking. Uh, guys who have one, you know what I mean? I'm a man of the people. The picture's hilarious, by the way. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely it's fucking incredible. hilarious. I gotta see it. Because I, I just see dropped it. the line on the kid, and I take the picture, <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck is happening? I here we go, By the way, I have to say this too, three of the fucking nicest guys you've met in your life. Maggie's talking to the kid. One of the kids is like, trying to have a baby with his wife, and Maggie's like, talking to him. I'm like, just fucking eat. Let's just drink. Can we just drink <laughs> take and it fucking easy. take it easy here? You know what I mean? Yeah. Talking about fucking this kid about IVF and Atlanta and all this fucking other shit, you know what I mean? Anyways, great fellas. Um, great guys. I got another great one if you want. Go ahead. Give it to yeah. go. Talk to me. Called? So, uh, <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Bobby, I want it all. All right. I'm, I'm giving it. So, yeah. so you know how I spoke a little bit earlier about how my wife's fucking insane, right? Yeah. And yeah. again. Italian. So, and I'm not talking about like your run of the mill. Fu- yeah, that is a great picture. <laughs> that is a great picture. <laughs> 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 How great is that picture? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. 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 <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I, I said to Matthew, I wanted to nah, make he's it. Gonna put it he's going to put it up this week. No, I, I, I wanted it. to make it my profile yeah. picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. All right, All right get that train of thought. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to rail it back in. So, like, she's absolutely psychotic, right? But, like, I, you know how, like, you'll be talking to other guys, like, yeah, dude, my wife's crazy, da 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 Like, she fucking waited in line for three hours for a Stanley mug. Yeah, that's not my wife's brand of crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm talking yeah. fucking violence. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> She's 4'10 and strikes like a fucking cobra, right? <laughs> so, you know, like, when you're first dating, and things are cute, they're airy and light, and like, ha, 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 you yeah, know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, we're laying in bed on a Sunday morning, right? <laughs> Just laying in bed, and she starts like pinching and poking me and stuff like that, like ha ha ha, like play fighting or whatever. Brings out a gun. No, listen. So like, <laughs> if you listen to the other podcast, there's three things in this world I care about, and one of them might have happened. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, so I'm like, fuck yeah. it, I'm in. Yeah. So I'm like wrestling around with her, this, that, and the other thing. She hits me. She keeps trying to Charlie horse me. I'm like, hey, don't poke the fucking bear, right? Because I ain't no fucking bitch, right? <laughs> so, so she's fucking around with me. So I give her a quick boop right on the leg, right? Charlie her, right? And I didn't mean to, or I did. But you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so she's like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. And I'm like, oh, my boy, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And now I'm at head. I'm like, all right, we're definitely not getting fucking cinnamon butter from Texas Pro. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I'm like, all right, let me play into this, right? So I fucking, I start like messing with her. I'm like, this oh, I'm sorry. Difference. She goes like this. She goes, she goes like a fucking ninja. So picture where at the top of the bed, my feet are at the bottom, right? Like a ninja. She springs up to the end of the fucking bed, disappears. I'm like, where the fuck is she? She pops up like a fucking gargoyle, right? From underneath the bed. She grabs my big toe in the toe in the middle and goes like this. With the force of a thousand exploding suns, 
Yeah, <laughs> like that. Dude, splits the fucking in between the webbing of my toes, oh. right? Now, my first reaction is, Jesus Christ, I'm in fucking pain here, right? But my second thing is, what are they teaching at the Y for self-defense? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? She just buckled me, right? And then I'm like, Jesus Christ. She's like, get up, pussy. <laughs> just like that. Dude, that's gonna go. No. Right here in the guard. She'll get up, pussy. I'm like, damn. All right, I'll hold your pocket for the rest of the day because I'm now your bitch. You know what I mean? Bundled me, dude. Absolutely bundled me. And at that point, I knew I couldn't leave. You ever seen Misery? Yeah. 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 Come on. That was me. That's me, and I'm crying for oh, help. <laughs> you know that I mean? the, the image of what you no, she fucking did slipped. Exactly. It. Dude, oh. blood. Yeah, she was like this, you oh. motherfucker. Yeah, like that. So blood. I'm, but it split down the middle, like it was like this, right here in my toes. Split. That's what I mean. She's That's insane. You if you call the cops, I would have been yeah. like, "You ain't from the projects." No, no buddy. No. I took it like a man. No. Cried a little bit in cried. the bathroom. Cried in the bathroom. <laughs> hey, every, hey, everyone cries. <laughs> everyone <laughs> cries. Dude, Dude she's four ten. <laughs> I'll tell you another one, right? So I probably did something stupid one time, right? <laughs> so she was mad at me, so I bought her a fucking purse, right? You know, <laughs> smooth things over. You know what the first thing she put in that fucking purse was? Was Maze. a Gerber switchblade. I swear to God on my right hand, she has a blade inside of her fucking purse. That's your brother. She's no joke, buddy. I'm petrified. I'm scared to death. Yeah, she's out of her fucking mind. Love her to death. <laughs> great gal, but yeah. You're great gal, but crazy she's fucking crazy. That's rat. what I'm saying. By the way, it's always been my favorite, favorite, most shit favorite script. Yeah, crazy that shit house yeah. rat. Yeah. It's from uh, Stand By Me. Mm. They say, yo, Teddy, you jams, kid. Your old man stuck your head in an oven. He goes, your old man's crazy than a shithouse rat. I remember being like, when I was a kid, I'm like, what loony. is a shithouse rat? Like, <laughs> loony, like, that's the best loony, line. Loony, loony, rat. loony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Whenever somebody has a line that you've never heard before, yeah. like, it's so rare now when yeah. you hear it. Like, that's where, like, when Josh, his buddy was like, oh, he's higher than a fucking lab rat kid. Yeah. And I'm like, what is that? I didn't. Uh, no, no. He was. I was higher than a rat, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what is that? Like a rat? He didn't lab say rat. lab rat, but yeah. I didn't. I, it took me a while. The fact that you got to put it together a little bit was like mm -hmm. it made it so much better. You know, oh, higher than giraffe nuts. That's yeah. the other one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Higher than giraffe pussy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Higher than Willie Nelson's fucking motorcycle. Uh, <laughs> I think that so was. I've met Diana. <laughs> yeah, and I, I. She's a sweetheart. I don't yeah. think Bob, Bobby's. You refuse a, to believe yeah, any of these. I don't think this happened. Because she's an abuser. I know. <laughs> That's right. It's behind closed doors. You refuse you know to believe it. So it's an abusive relationship. I picture, I picture Diana as like the sweetheart that's like. Give me those shitty drawers. I'm going to go wash them for you, not breaking toes. Dude, she literally said, take those shitty underwear off, you fucking animal. That's what she said to me. I was like, damn. Right? Like, what the fuck? And no, but she's like, and it's thing. She does acts of kindness, right? So like, yeah, she might acts have fucked. Acts of kindness. Yeah, that's what she does. Are you fucking kidding me? She won't me? say sorry. She won't say sorry. Stop an Italian. She's 100% Italian. She's 4'10". My buddy... Joe Angelo, he passed away. Absolute fucking Joe Angelo, good guy, wicked good guy, good right? Guy. He used to explain right, her as a baby scorpion because you know how big scorpions <laughs> don't have as much venom, but the little ones do. That's what he explained her as. You know what I mean? And she's a sweetheart. If she's fucking with you, she rides with you. Like she loves all my friends. Yeah. And you gotta understand something with my wife, right? She since we got together, we've been left and right everywhere we go. So if I'm doing something, yeah, she's, she's coming there. with me. Yeah. If I'm going here, she's coming with me. Like. We're best of friends. Yeah. She's, I love her to death. You know what I mean? But it's like, I, I like comedy to me is looking at life in a different perspective. Sure. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. like, I laugh at things. And another thing, I love awkward. Like awkward me too. is one of my favorite things in the world. It's my favorite thing in the world. In the world. So when somebody drops a bomb and everybody's like, oh, damn. I'm like, yeah, like, when I, that black guy, like, <laughs> like I start getting a giggle from it. You know what I mean? Because that's when you're going to know when the fight or flight kicks in. You get what I'm saying? Like firefighters are going to run into the fire immediately, <laughs> right? When people get fucking frozen, you know what I mean? It ain't for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, so why like, you like, that's why you and Josh like each other. Because like Josh's whole brand of comedy is like, how awkward can I? Dude, somebody said to me, I think, oh, I forget who it was, but they were like, Dude, they're like the first. Oh, it was Billy. He was like the first time I listened to Josh. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't get it. Oh, he's I get like, it. And then he's like, but then after like the second episode, I'm like, oh, I get, I get. Like this is a fucking. It's like a Norm Macdonald thing. It's like, yeah, how yeah, awkward yeah. can I make this fucking? That's what I love because he's not trying to make you laugh. He's trying to get a laugh out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I like. Is like yeah. he's like, I don't give a fuck if you giggle. I'm dying. Yeah, you know I'm what sorry. I mean? I love that. That I kills me. I do too. That's why, I like, when I dropped that uh, line to those, to those black guys, I was like, <laughs> I was like, this is either gonna land or I'm gonna get my ass kicked <laughs> yeah, in this fucking place. Right? That's why I asked it. The only, back, the only either, back up either I way, have was, either way, it's gonna be a fun time. That's what yeah, I'm getting at. The only backup I have is Doctor Strange. Like, mm -hmm. he would have had to save my ass. That would have been a real good story, actually. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, dude. Uh, well, here's the thing. It is crazy to me because I never, literally, I don't think I've been with, like, one girl yeah. who is not Irish. Like, every girl I've ever been with like, is an Irish trash person. You know what I mean? I mean that in the nicest way possible. Fuck Dude. Em. Oh, so this is So this is what I was just saying. So I was texting with these guys the other day, and I'm like, the Irish only have three things on lock, right? This is all we have. Drinking, yep. culture, mm -hmm. and butter. Those are the three things the we got. Kelly butter is an Kelly absolute, gold yeah, butter, it's, right? Butter um, is un, unreal. I it's, will say the other thing we have I is... I never even thought about it, like, until... He said it. No, that butt is the best. The only thing we yeah. have is those things. Now, the only thing we do have is understanding women who are understanding of their men. Like, and then Alan, fucking Irish Alan's like, he's like, he's like, I don't know how Mike does it, man. I'm like, <laughs> fucking, you're just singling me out. Like, like, <laughs> like I'm the asshole. providing the entertainment for you, all right? Mm -hmm. so fucking relax over there. <laughs> yeah. uh, but then it comes on the text thread. Danny's like, Danny likes two types of women. Do you know what they are? Who's that? Psycho and non psycho. No, no. Latino women, Latin mm -hmm. women, mm -hmm. and redheads. I know, that's really? like, I, that's like, dude, I that is like liking, redheads. that's like being like, you know what I'm a fan of? The that's KKK and the sides. Civil Rights Movement. <laughs> that's, <what I'm laughs> like, that's two opposite sides of this. Love, red, love Reddits. Really? Love Reddits. Dude. Wow. Listen, I, it's like I said, it's like being like, oh, I'm a big fan of the KKK, but I, I do like what the Civil Rights Movement is doing right <laughs> what now. What they've been doing like, lately. Like, <laughs> there's nothing more, di like, it's complete opposite sides. Ever. Like, I think I've told this story before, but it's fucking funny. I'm going to tell it real quick again. This dude, Troy, I worked with at Home Depot when I was working nights at Home Depot. <clears throat> just black dude. He'd been inside like a couple times. Awesome mm -hmm. fucking guy. Mm -hmm. So we would like hang out, like walk the aisles and just shoot the shit. He would just tell me prison stories and I'd just sit there fucking like mouth agape loving it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I'd make the occasional funny comment and like we, we would just hang out all the time. And like there was this girl in this aisle with this white dude. And the girl was like like uh, some Latin Latino chick and she had like a like a big great ass, right? Yeah. And he looks at me and goes, he goes, dog. He goes, dog. He goes, you know that motherfucker isn't, isn't hitting that thing correct. <laughs> And I'm like, and I'm like sitting there, and I'm like, yeah, I, I know, I, I know, I know. No. And he's like, he's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't hitting that thing right. And I'm like, dude, you know, I don't hit anything right either. <laughs> like, like, I'm not, I'm not the guy to like, like, be like, oh, this kid hits it right. You know what I mean, dude? Some, I don't like, have the facility. Now I, like, not that like fucking he's gonna hit this podcast. Um, if he does, Troy, I love you. I love you, fucking you, but man. Some chick like paid him twenty bucks to beat him off in the lumber aisle. Kid had a stilt like the size of fucking like this microphone, dude, bigger. Like, and he's like, yeah. Some, somebody's like, oh yeah, somebody paid Troy twenty bucks to beat him off in the lumber aisle. I'm like, you know what? Like that is that is the like. When I look back at my life and when I first went to work there, and I'm like, I come out of the job being like, you know, running a fucking d d fucking group at this job. I'm like, this is fucking horrible. I gotta go work at Home Depot. I'd never trade that in the world. My buddy, like two of my best friends are guys I met there. Yeah. And like stories like Troy got beaten off in the fucking lumber aisle, like for 20 bucks. Dude, you can't is, turn that in. Dude, can't turn unbelievable that in. like shit. Yeah. Like I was like, like I've always said, like I was one of like four white guys that worked there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they, everybody would always be like, you're the manager, right? And I'm like, no, I just work in fucking hardware. <laughs> you know what I mean? By the way, people are racist. I'm just going to say that because everybody thought I was the manager all the time. It's so all like, white. Yeah. Hey. You're, like, you're the manager, right? Excuse I'm like, me, sir. No, yeah. no, no, I'm not. Like, it was, it was fucking crazy. We'll have to get uh, Clocky's buddy Levy on to talk about uh, my buddy Levy. Um, by the way. Clocky has been on a heater on uh, Facebook lately that's been making Hilarious. me. Dude, is popcorn fought fucking <laughs> shit the other. Like, dude, I can't figure out, like, if. I hope Clocky's going to listen to this, obviously. I love obviously. Clocky. More than anything in the world. Clocky's I think top notch. He is. Top notch. He is. There's nothing more authentic than Jonathan Clock. Like, there's nothing more authentic, right? And I, I can't figure out if he doesn't know how to spell gut or if he just likes spelling a G U T. Like, I think he likes spelling it that way. You know oh. what I mean? <laughs> for, for one quick second. <laughs> what do you, what, what do you about to say? No, no, go oh. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I think you said, like, he didn't know how to spell God. I go, that's how you spell God, but you mean God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, whoa, I'm like, wow. But he, I like he spelled dude, it right. I've been spelling dude, it wrong my whole life. When he when he spells it that way, yeah. I think it's so much funnier that I'm like, I don't know if he's done it on purpose, but he's like, I gotta, and it's like G U T T A, and I'm like, I fucking love this kid. But he dude. has to play it out now. He's been doing it so long. I think Clocky's been on the show the most, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, be, he'll definitely be sending a text tomorrow morning, and be like, son. I got, I gotta learn how to spell son. son. <laughs> I know how to spell son. <laughs> 
I love Joey Boats. I love Joey Boats, dude. dude. I, love, like, I love Joey Boats, dude. And it was crazy because I went home today and I took a fucking nap, right? And I was like, I'm such a fucking loser, but God didn't grace me with ADHD, only ADD, so I have to fucking fall asleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? So fucking Joey Boats is great. Clacky's fucking top notch. Jeff Clow. Dude, let's talk about. <laughs> Jeff Claw's unbelievable. Dude, and at that comedy the stand show, up right? is oh my God. Unbelievable. So I felt so bad for him, right? When he was the going. The first minute. Dude, the first minute, I'm like, oh, this, because Homeboy killed before him. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, J- oh Paul Gilgan. Yeah. Killed. Ma- right? Modern legend. Yeah, dude. And then. Then he goes on there, and I'm like, all right, right? And then all of a sudden, he pulled a fucking possum. Like, you thought he was dead in the road, dude, and he sprung up and then gratuitously fucked the couch on that <laughs> stage, right? Dude, dude. Me and your brother were fucking... Me and crying? My, dude, crying. I, I think he, he figured out I, I think so too. I think so, too. stand-up. Because yeah. you bomb on purpose... And you get the whole crowd like feeling bad for you. Yeah, like, and then you root, start throwing high nines. They're dude, rooting and for then, you. Yeah, the whole but, crowd's rooting for you. One hundred percent. And then all of a sudden, he turns around and starts fucking the couch, and everyone was like, "Holy shit, this kid's a genius!" Yeah. Exactly. I gotta say this too nobody, about him. Nobody wants anyone to bomb. To be honest, no. no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're always rooting for the guy up yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. I gotta say this about him too. Like, obviously. I, Every time we have one of these guys on the show, I'm fucking pumped because oh, it's yeah. like, like you said, catch a wreck. It's oh, like yeah. Maggie's like, who's on tonight? Like Bobby C. She's like, oh, you must be excited. Every time it's somebody, she's like, oh, you got to be excited, right? Mm-hmm. It's like Joey Boats, you, whatever. Now, I didn't know Jeff at all. Obviously, mm-hmm. like I've told that story before. Josh was like, dude, I'm telling you, like, I, I, I don't want to oversell it. I'm just saying I think he's the funniest person I've ever met. Yeah. And like. Dude, when he was in, jo- and he's, he's just so different than I thought. He's like this big dude. He's like f- talking about Father Gagan. Oh, like, that was fucking, awesome, yeah. dude, that, that was yeah. some of the nuts. That, that was, Patreon yeah. episode alone yeah. is one of the be- the two best Patreons, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. A Bob C's last Patreon. Yep. Uh, yeah. And then Jeff Clow talking about Father Gagan not oh, being sexy great. enough for him to fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I used to fuck those kids. <laughs> I used to fuck those kids. <laughs> Not dude, me, though. Dude, he is. Did you see that picture of them, by the way, out in California? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I loved it. I, yeah. I fucking threw, like, that Street Dog Dorchester song on He's there. got the shirt on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. great. They're, dude, they. By the way, I didn't realize how many people have that fucking uh, shit on. Like, it's oh, wild. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. wild. It's yeah. It's wild. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you right now, it's only going to grow. Yeah. All right? yeah. We'll probably do, once, what we'll do is we'll do the cork of. Hoodies, obviously, hoodies, with those. Yeah. But then we're also going to do. Um, Should probably do t-shirts, we'll do t-shirts after that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. 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 By the way, if you're in the golf tournament, we're going to do a custom t-shirt for that thing. So yeah. people oh, are nice. like, we talk about doing a golf that's shirt. Pe- yeah, that's coming. Yeah. With we talk about doing nice. a golf shirt. I'm like, dude, every golf shirt I get from a tournament stinks. It does. I'm like, I want a good t-shirt. Yeah. I'm like, I want a good fucking. We're going to make a fucking PTC fucking open. I'm going to wear a t-shirt. PTC more than classic. Than golf club. Hun- yeah. Uh, me too, yeah. dude. Like, only time I wear a golf shirt is to golf. Yeah. You know what I mean? I only play golf like whatever, 10 times a year or something like that. Um, so, anyways, we're going to do that. Also, by the way, we're going to record an episode very soon from uh, Kev Ma's Bar. I talked Hell to him yeah. about it. It's been negotiated. Nice. Uh, I asked him if he would come on. He's like, You have a 10 cent head and you're an idiot. And uh, <laughs> he was like, The other night he was talking, we were talking about some kid. And I'm like, That kid's a dick. And he's like, He's like, That kid's a good guy. I'm like, You hate everybody. And he's like, I hate you. And I'm like, there you go. Like, it's fucking, that's, that's it. You know what I mean? Kevin Miles is the best. Hey. He's a classic grump. He's yeah. one of the best oh, grumps to ever yeah. do it. The best grump. Dude, what he just explained to me is beard. Oh, yeah. The beard. Angry. Angry. From the South Shore, angry. One of my best friends, right? I fucking love this kid, but he Is will... he the one who commented on yes. the... <laughs> yeah. So you got to understand, Zan, the only reason me and him have a relationship is to strictly hate on each other. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's it. That's it. He calls me every day, and he'll be like, you're still fat and fucking bald? I'll be like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you piece of shit, right? And he's like, all right, I'm good later, right? So he's just... It's just pure hate, and we bounce back and forth from each other, right? But he I, still he still gives a fuck. Oh, a hundred percent, he gives a best. fuck, dude. If That's I'm doing that, he's dude. there no matter what. You yeah, know, what yeah. I mean? he's an absolute aces. I got a great story about him, right? This motherfucker. Thank God he ain't here to defend himself, right? <laughs> so back in the day, like me, Billy O, Beard, and myself, we used to work out a ton, right? Corkers, they're all corkers, right? Yeah, so yeah. we all used to fucking work out, right? We used to work out Medford at uh, Mike's gym. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ew. yeah. Gross kid. <laughs> so every day when we used to work out, I'd pull in with my truck, right, and Beard would pull in the opposite way, and we'd go window to window, right. Every day we do it, and I'd have like pre workout or something like that, right. And I would throw it in his window. He'd make a pre workout shake or whatever, right. So one day I'm sitting there, right, and I'm like, ah, oh, blah blah blah, and I throw him the pre workout, right, and then I don't hear nothing, and I hear. Rah, 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 rah. I smell a faint smell of fucking feces coming from my left. 
I turned my left. Beard's frozen with the shaker cup and the pre-workout like this. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? And I hear, get your fucking hands on the steering wheel. I go, what? I turn around the biggest fucking 357 Magnum. And you remember Batman, the first one with Jack Nicholas? Yeah. And that fucking yeah. pulls out yeah, that yeah, fucking yeah, thing dude. with the barrel that's like this big, yeah. right? Pulls that thing out there, right? And I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, some guy? Some random guy with a fucking pistol goes... Get your fucking hands on the stereo. I go, who the fuck are you, right? Just like that. And I don't give a fuck. I'm dead inside already. I'm just waiting for the body to catch up, right? So literally, I go, who the fuck are you? You can ask Beard, right? Now Beard's frozen, right? Like he was doing the mannequin challenge from 2012, dude. Beep, right? Frozen. So I go like this. I go, who the fuck are you, dude, right? He turns. He's got the fucking skinniest jeans I've ever seen on in my life. And there's a fucking nickel sides badge on his fucking belt, right? He's like, Medford police, I fucking got you, motherfuckers. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, right? And he's like, he comes over with the pistol and walks over. Now, Beard has the shaker cup in the fucking pre-workout in his hand, right? And he goes, put your hands up. And Beard just goes like this, right? And he goes like this. So he has his gun. And he goes, looks in. He goes, huh, all right, all right. Holsters his weapon and goes, all right. And just walked away, dude. What? Walked no. away. He thought it was a drug deal. Yeah. So he thought it was a drug. Deal. I swip my right hand to God. He just oh goes, my God. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, motherfuckers, <laughs> and just walked away, dude. Being what a loser, dude. Being frozen, frozen, <laughs> still be frozen. I said, but that was crazy, huh? He was like. I gotta go home and change my pants. <laughs> oh, by the way, did he really way. shit his pants? No, dude, he didn't shit his oh, pants. Okay. He said to me later on, he goes, he goes, dude, my dick's so small, I pissed my pants. It was like a waterfall <laughs> down my nuts. You know what I mean? Dude, I was like, dude, that was the craziest dude, situation. By the way, you know that your last episode has caused like an onslaught of people being like, like, I'll see him and they'll be like, I was talking to the guy, I was like, that's crazy. Like, like, if people that's use crazy. they yeah, use it crazy. as like their way of saying now, like, yeah. that was the worst conversation of all time. Yeah, exactly. Get the fuck oh, out of here. Yeah. This happened to me that I actually, I just brought, make sure to say this to Patreon. We might have to wait for the Patreon. Maybe. Real quick, last story, and then we'll get to Patreon. Yeah. Uh, similar situation. My boys are down in Florida. My buddy was, two of my buddies moved down there after high school. They were working at Disney World, right? So, like, all my other degenerate buddies go down there, right? I get this one buddy. I wish I could say his name because it's fucking hilarious, but I'm not going to say his name. Anyways, he's there. He's kind of a chubby dude. He's not, like, really in great shape. They're in the parking lot yelling at each other, getting a fight. Like, two of my buddies get a fight. They're fucking throwing each other off this car. Guy comes out with a fucking nine millimeter, and he's like, don't fucking move. And they're all standing there. And he's like, I will fucking shoot you. Get away from my car. Mm -hmm. So... Picture this place. It's an outdoor. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a fucking apartment complex, right? And my buddy goes to the right, like sixty yards, is a set of stairs. My buddy's apartment was on the fourth floor. He goes, but they're exposed stairs, open to like the elements. Yeah. He goes, we're all standing there, just be like, no, no, nothing. Yeah. And he goes, and Pete just turns around. And just starts booking it towards the stairs. <laughs> and so the guy's got the gun on them, right? And they like, he's just like, and he goes, Later, and then, boys. Then he goes, he goes, the guy's looking at him, he goes, and he just starts going up every set of stairs. And he's like, <laughs> and he's like, and he, he looks at my buddies and goes, that kid's a fucking idiot. Like, fucking, <laughs> it was the slowest getaway yes, ever. Dude, ever. Dude, they go, he and, thinks he's wicked fast. Go, he's like, these ooh, bulls won't hit me. Dude, they go like this. My buddy goes, you know, they say like time stops when somebody's got a gun on you. He oh, goes, yeah. he goes, well, dude, he goes, when it, time stops when somebody's got a gun on you and your slowest friend in the world has to run a hundred yards and then up four flights of stairs. Like it's like, he goes, it was like, it was like I'm a scene out of a movie. The guy's just like bewildered by the whole fucking thing. You know what I mean? What the fuck is going on here? He's like, I'm not shooting. He's running up. He's not getting away from anything. Oh, he's right. gonna come down at one point yeah. and see where he's going. Yeah. That's pa Patreon's gonna be fucking fun. Yeah. All right, listen, oh, we love you. Uh, oh, yeah, golf tournament. We're all set. We're good. Hoodies are coming out. Uh, if you're in the Patreon, you know, so we'll get you hooked up with a hoodie. And uh, we love you. By the way, last thing I'm gonna say, I'm putting in the order. I think Joe's off tomorrow. I talked to him today, so I'm probably gonna put the order in actually on. Uh, one thing. If you have a special size that you want, like, it might cost more, but like, you know, like, Fitzy's a three XLT, right? Don't T. fucking shame me. T. I'm, I'm, don't body shame me. You. <laughs> yeah. Don't body shame me. I'm saying, I'm saying that in a fucking way. I wish I was a fucking giant. 
Yeah. By the way, when somebody's taking a picture of me and Fitzy the other day, they go, wait, I want to get a different angle so you don't look small. And I go, no, yeah. no, no, it's better if yeah. I look small. Brandon, it's better t- if, tippy toes, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, it's better if Fitzy looks big. What do you, you know think what I, mean? I have to stand next to him, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody's like, dude, he's the fucking real deal. Huh? I'm oh, like, yeah. yeah, he's huge. He's a fucking large, massive, as, as Danny Gill says, the size of a Buick. Buick. Um, mm. Okay, we love you. We will see you in about four minutes on the Patreon, if you're a Patreon guy. If not, uh, go fuck yourself. Suck your own dick. Bye.